again, uh, assuming this is going to work here, um, we are live. Everything looks good. All right, let's try going into game here. And let's try firing up Battletech again and hope for a better result than what we just had. Not sure what the hell was going on, but we have just restarted the computer. And uh, we're going to give this a new... We're going to give us a new world here. Um, and since I probably would just delete the other VOD. Um, yep, good. Bots recognizing we're, we're live here. So, uh, yep, and chat box is, is working. Good, and it's capturing the game. Perfect. That's always nice. Uh, so while the game loads, uh, so technical difficulties aside, uh, we are going to be playing some Battletech today and tonight. At least, you know, I hope. <laughs> Assuming we don't have a repeat of what we just dealt with before. And uh, the idea is we're going to be, uh, we might do a warm up round, but I think we're just going to get right into the campaign here. Um, or where we were last. So let's go back to our manual save here. And uh, hopefully, hopefully this works. Because um, we had like, what, two, three it froze on us like two or three times uh, the first time around. So, um, so far already, this is, you know, looking a little more promising. Um, my webcam always does a little bit of CPU slowdown. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this is, this was fine. Okay, so I have no idea what the hell that was last time. Um, so what we could do, we could theoretically go uh, to one of these other worlds, uh, whether it's here, Lyriton. Lyriton sometimes has some good good stuff to do uh we could just go uh do a mission you know what why don't we go to Lyriton? let's see what's there it's only it's only 16 days and 30,000 sea bills and we've got how much time do we have we got 24 days and we'll have enough in the event that things go a little sideways so yeah let's go to Lyriton and let's see well i don't think there well, unless there's some good warm-up things here but um you know, we could do Let's see, what do we got? Weldry, Weldry, yeah. So we could do a battle, but the problem is if we get messed up there, well, I mean, we still could, but I'm not really liking that. Uh, we could do an ambush. Yeah, I'd really rather not. And I'd really rather not do an, an escort mission here at the moment. So yeah, let's let's go to Lyriton. We'll have a nice little, we'll have ourselves a nice little warm up mission and uh, we'll, we'll go from there. Perfect. Yep. Let's set course. Roger that, Plus, course if we do a mission or even two, get some sea bills, come back here. Maybe we buy that, that Victor before we do the campaign mission. At least that would be nice. I find, yep. Oh, we got a new one this time. All right. I'm not, it's not like I'm the only noble born person on the ship, says Decker slumping low in your guest chair. I mean, there's you. Why can't Medusa harass you about their stupid idea? Apparently when Decker asked to speak to you privately about something Darius wouldn't understand, it was about the trials and tribulations of being nobility. Well, what is Medusa's idea, you ask? I don't know. I don't know. Something about cooling systems. He wants me to use my connections to get the idea, uh, yeah, to get the idea to people who can implement it. And he doesn't believe me when I say that my birth doesn't automatically open doors like that. And even if it did, I can't waste it on bullshit. Decker gives you a plaintive look. <laughs> Clearly hoping for advice or at least sympathy. Um, let's, uh, we're going to tell him to send Medusa to us. We're, we're going to deal with this. He's, yeah, that's what I kind of what I figured. I figured he would gain low spirits. But anyway, Decker looks relieved to pass along the burden to you. And later that afternoon, Medusa shows up at your door. You scan the roughly written idea and immediately see that it's wasting your time. You tell Medusa to focus his energy on being a better mech warrior and leave the engineering to Chief Virtanen. So that's okay. We just won't use we just won't use Medusa in any missions uh, while he's on low low spirits. Really, it doesn't really impact things all that much. It just makes him specifically, if we deploy him on a mission, make either precise shot or vigilance cost more. That's really the only impact. Uh, only impact. But as we've seen, when they have that high spirits. Yeah, we're not. We're still not. 
good enough Seville wise to be really investing much in the Argo at this point. I want to see what other missions we have in Lyriton here in six days. We'll wait the six days and see if then we could be a little more comfortable with spending money on the Argo upgrades. Granted, the Argo upgrades are amazing by and large, but that money can go really, really quick. I mean, we're only talking about a, a million and a half sea bills. That's, that's fairly low. Is, is my, yep, my cat's coming back up the stairs. Ah, uh, she's my brat. All right, so let's take a look. Let's see if we got a good warm up mission here, or is the game going to stiff us like it did last time? All right, so we got Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, it's an escort mission, but that should be that should be more than capable. Oh God, this is going to be a total milk run. Recovery. Let's see. Local group of sympathizers recently picked up a garble message from a Scion indicating that she's being held in the local government facility there. Our intel failed to trace her to Lyriton, so any loyal mechs are several jumps away. We need your help to extract her. This really should be free money. Um, aggressive negotiations. That's an assassination job. Uh, I feel like this might be worth... I feel like this is probably not going to be worth our time. Uh, the, the money is just so minuscule. Uh, but we could gain some experience with our pilots. So that's always nice. Sending a message. Yep, we're just going to destroy a base here. Yeah, I kind of like these missions. These are these are low, uh, low difficulty. We should have... We really shouldn't have any kind of issue with these. Granted, this difficulty meter, I could already tell... Easiest is going to be this one, then this, then this, and then this. So, just as a very quick... Yeah, let's do it. Let's just make a quick 100,000 sea bills. We'll get some salvage. Probably isn't going to be much salvage to write home about, but it's something. Um, yeah, Medusa and Slam, you guys are... You guys are in the bullpen for right now. Let's let's deploy. We'll do it. We'll do a nice couple of warm-up missions. Hopefully, these will be nice and quick. We could just kind of get through them, build some XP. Because again, your pilots having experience really helps with some of these missions. There's nothing worse than trying to make the right strategic choice. And then because your pilots are inexperienced, end up um, just missing a critical shot or or what have you. So... Um, so yeah, it's just, it's we're this is just a kidnapping job, and we are being paid to go uh, rescue her. Command should be emphasis. should be nice and simple. Initiate. Emphasis on should be. Straightforward retrieval. Locate the VIP and get to the ev evac zone. First step: find our target and the location of the last known signal, and then we're gonna extract safely. Keep the mech carrying. Uh, yeah, keep the mech carrying the VIP in one piece. Cause yeah, they're gonna fire at the mech with the VIP. Depending go. on what this is, though, we may just wipe out the Op 4, and it may not even matter. But this will actually be nice, because uh -huh. it's been a little while since I played this. And if we see this map again, I'd rather be a little more familiar with it in a mission like th from a mission like this than um, be trying to figure out... Wait, how does this map work? In the middle of a gigantic firefight with assault mechs and all sorts of other crazy shit. I read you, Commander. Moving out. We already got a mech going here. We're going to move. We'll just move you. That way, just in case something fires at it, it'll have nice defense. It's not like it's going to get much further anyway. There's no cover. Let's see what's going here. Unknown mech. So we have no idea what its configuration is. My guess is that it's going to be very light. Oh, it's a panther. All right, not as light as I thought. Yep, I didn't have nearly enough evasion to avoid that PPC. But that is okay. We are going to hopefully really fuck up that panther. Yes, Commander. Wow, well, this sucks. Shit. All right, so if I'm here, I could shoot at it. But even here, I'd be, well, we could at least shoot at it from there. But I'd rather advance, personally. You know what? Let's... Because you've got the AC-10. You're not going to be within range any... Oh, well, actually, yeah. All right, fine. 
What's up, boss? You advance. Let's see if there's anything even up there. Good. And we can, in fact, get down from there. Picked up a I blip. just have to move around a little bit there. Another unknown mech. Another unknown mech. That's fine. Fire. We've got high ground up here, so I'm totally okay with this. And this rock outcropping should give Behemoth a little bit of cover. At least that's what I'm hoping for. Well, that's, that's pretty thin here. Um... All right, fair enough. We'll just shoot you with a couple of AC twos. Roger that. Firing on target. Good deal. We'll take it. And then, yeah. Even though I usually don't like the idea of not moving up very far, yeah. If I even move here, all of a sudden I lose. Yeah. Nope. We're we're just gonna light you up. Fire. Good solid hit. Perfect. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Standing by. Yeah, this will be fun. <laughs> Let's just reposition the archer. And we will fire our LRM 40. Copy that. Actually, I could rename my mechs too. Holy shit. Okay, I didn't think I would ruin the panther that quick. God damn, Decker. Nice. So that's the advantage of the archer. It has a um, a clustering system, which doesn't weigh anything as far as I can tell. And uh, all those LRMs will end up doing damage to the same location. So what probably happened is all of those LRMs were hitting its legs and then once the leg got blown off, all that damage that would have gone to the leg then transferred to the center torso. That's why we that's why we cord that so fast. Commander. Let's see. Thinking. Yeah, this ought to be good. Yeah, let's let's just advance. Cause I'd really rather not. Yeah, that looks works too. Let's not overextend ourselves here. But I do want to scan this. Oh, two javelins. All right. Let's see what happens. Yeah, they're both being defended. So, yep, open fire. I'm not going to waste my um, precise shot and vigilance in case there are reinforcements. I really feel like my lance at its current order. configuration really should be able to handle... Wow, really? That's it? Ugh. All right, fine. Coordinates received. This lance really should be able to handle these, um, these two. These two remaining ones. Um, yeah, you know what? We're dealing, we're only dealing limited damage anyway. Let's just reposition over there. We'll do three points of damage with our LRMs instead of four. And we'll just soften this guy up a little bit. Let's see what happens. All right, we made him unsteady. Oh, right, I forgot. Decker's about to uh, really make this guy's life suck. Roger that. Yeah, the Archer is such an amazing missile boat. Even late game, the Archer is viable. Now, at some point, we may end up replacing the Archer with a... Nice. Target eliminated. Uh, we may eventually replace the Archer with a better missile boat, but I mean, the Archer is going to be our, our kind of LRM missile boat for a very long time. That'll, that'll be a nice member of our Lance. Pretty much deep into the late game. Pretty much same thing if we find ourselves a Marauder. Hey, Ghosty, what's going on? Yeah, I don't know which is tough for this or Armored Core. Because they're tough for different reasons, right? Um, Armored Core is, is, is freaking hardcore, man. That boss, that Juggernaut looked ridiculous. But Armored Core and this game have very similar, besides being gigantic, stompy robots, right? Um, they're very similar in that a lot of times it's not necessarily how, like, how your hand-eye coordination is or how quickly you react to stuff. A lot of times it's about kind of coming up with a good strategy and figuring out how I to actually, ya. uh, deal with, uh, all this shit. You betcha. 
it would be nice to find some small lasers and lar uh, rather large lasers and get our blackjack back to what it was instead of having these AC2s, but it is what it is for the moment. <laughs> Holy shit. As your, uh, yeah, exactly. Yep. How's your evening going? Well, it's probably afternoon out but in California where you are. Uh, but how's your day going, Ghosty? Good to see you as always. Orders. Ready for orders. Yeah, let's just go up and frickin' smack Roger. you. <laughs> Been playing today, gotten better. Ah! Yeah. Holy crap! Alright, Behemoth going ape shit here. Oh, so it is basically evening. It's probably yeah. around, uh, yeah, late afternoon. You're, you're about an hour ahead of sun, uh, sunset. Good stuff. On my way! Uh, there's the ramp. Move Watch, that was like it <laughs> for this whole mission. That would be nice, right? It would be nice if there's no, like, extra reinforcements. I don't know what the likelihood of that is, but a guy can dream. A guy can dream. Position confirmed. I shall dream. Yep. You're in the area of the last known signal. Hold position and give the VIP a chance to board one of the mechs. We have the asset, Commander. Oh, there we go. Well, that was easy. <laughs> the the easiest of warm-ups. Yeah, there's a reason why there really wasn't going to be a whole lot there. Oh, well, we still gained a thousand XP. That was so worth our time. And we got a panther out of it. Oh, my God. That was awesome. That was awesome. Yeah, we'll take a PPC. Hell yeah, we will. And we'll get some javelin salvage. That was a great mission. I mean, it was a cakewalk, but I mean, we couldn't have asked for anything better from that. Needless to say. Most missions in this game are not that easy. So I take it you were not here for the uh, earlier tech shenanigans? I had to actually that reboot my computer. Fight, uh, up, yeah, he's just giving me a bit of a scoop here on what a panther is. They're actually, they're so, for a light mech, they're slow, which for a light mech really sucks. But um, they do have jump jets and they do pack a punch. If you ignore a panther, it'll, it'll really fuck you up. Um, that's obviously not great. It's one of the reasons why as soon as I see a panther, it's one of the reasons why it's one of the first mechs I kind of take down. And we're going to sell it. We are going to sell this. Yes! Yes! <laughs> that is light lovely. Oh, actually, we got some good, we've got some good PPCs here. Um, you know, one of these days I really should experiment with this. My my thinking, though, is every time I've ever done tag in this game, by the time I actually land the target, so, uh, ah, yeah, no, I actually had to uh, restart the stream because I had to reboot my computer. The, the actual Battletech game, um, nice. Yeah, Battletech game would, would it just wouldn't load. <laughs> and I'm just like, all right, I'm glad nobody's here for this part yet. <laughs> Better than it completely do this. It's like, get all the gremlins out of here early. Kind of had a laugh about it. It's like, no problem. We'll be right back. Um, I may have somebody lurking. Actually, I think, I, you know what? I'm, I probably did have somebody lurking. Um, but whoever it was, they came back and life is good. And, uh, <laughs> well, you know me. I'm You and I are both like uh, premier caliber, uh, you know, S-tier lurkers. So I, I know, I, I'm always happy to have people just pull up, grab a snack and chill. Um, of course, I'm losing track of what I'm doing because I'm talking. <laughs> I'm, I'm distracting myself now. This is awesome. I didn't even have chat to get me side to, to, to completely sidetracked to Sunday. <laughs> Although I'm sure that'll come later. Uh, but that being the case, yeah, we are going to buy uh, this Victor for sure. Yeah, let's just buy this now and life is going to be good. Let's buy that. Hell yeah. Available. That is awesome. Go over to the barracks. That's what I'm looking for. So only four. <laughs> only, only four. <laughs> Which is so frustrating on missions where they send mech 
after Mac, after Mac, after you, and you're just like, fucking seriously, I only have four mother effing Macs, and uh, we'll we'll eventually do one of these missions, and it's it's funny, I actually saved one of them because there were like. Yeah, it, it was, oh my god, it was so funny. I really do have to find that. I, 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 I probably won't bog down stream here. Unless we, you know what? In the event Freakbot raids us, we'll, we'll switch to just chatting and I'll, I'll search my pictures. Because I know I took a screenshot of it. And it's literally just our four mechs. Somehow I didn't lose any armor on those four mechs. And we destroyed 20 freaking mechs. There's just mech kills after all four of them. And I'm just like, I cannot believe this effing happened. Um, yeah, the, the AI just decided today, today we are going to F up Seraphs today. And thankfully for me, I gave the computer the good old double deuce instead. <laughs> it was awesome. Well, probably, and it's only a matter of time before the computer Fs with us on stream and we either die or we take it on the chin and F them up instead. So hopefully the latter, because that's just more fun. <laughs> uh, but all right, let's take a look at contracts. So we gained an extra thousand and let's do sending a message. So we're going to destroy a base here. Commander, local government leadership has been taking an increasingly hard line against Capellan affiliated corporate interests in the Wimworld periphery. Local government leadership has recently authorized the military interdiction of assets and resources from our corporate affiliates. Their behavior is tantamount to theft and cannot go unpunished. We need you to send a message back to them by destroying one of their munitions factories on Lyriton. And you can only imagine what happens for missions like this, where, let's see, uh, do I rather have the money? Or would I do want some of the salvage? Yeah, let's, let's just go with this and take some of the salvage. But what we will do, uh, so this is our better, yeah, this is our better mech. So let's give that Centurion to you. We'll swap this in. And uh, the question is, do I go with that Centurion or do I still send you in with the Blackjack? I still think I send you in with the Blackjack because that Blackjack has crazy, well, let's see, 151 damage and you do, oh, 150 damage. It's basically zero sum. Um, well, shit, you know, they're basically the same mech, but I do like having a variety of different, different types of mechs rather than doubling up. So instead of going two Centurions here, we'll just keep this Centurion and the other Shadowhawk in, in reserve. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. Let's, let's ruin a base and get paid doing it. <laughs> but yeah, Armored Core looked fun as hell. I actually really thought about picking up that game. Um, I just can't figure out whether or not I want to pick it up for PlayStation or computer. You know, the eight old, the, the old adage of what do I want to buy this this uh what system do i want to buy this game for i'm really glad i took your advice and got scarlet nexus for playstation the second i started playing that i'm like oh my god thank god i got this with the, with the controller yeah yeah absolutely man absolutely like there are a lot of games where i can't even think about playing it without a mouse and keyboard but then there are others where the controller is just such a better play experience And I think for me, there's also the question of, do I necessarily, do I really want to stream this? Or do I just want to relax on my couch, chill, and just play a game? Like uh, I picked up Sea of Stars for PlayStation. Well, I didn't pick up Sea of Stars. Phoenix Nade got me uh, Sea of Stars, very nice of him. Uh, and he picked it up for me on, uh, on PS5. And so yeah, that's been nice just to sit on my couch and just enjoy it and, and play. Uh, so the munitions factory that our Capellan employers want us to take out is highlighted on your map. Intel says to expect light to moderate resistance. When the factory is down, I'll highlight an extraction zone for you to fall back to. Sumire will meet you there. Good luck, Commander. Oliveira out. So theoretically, if we wanted to, we could just go in, blow up all the base structures, and get the hell out. Uh, yeah, that's kind of what I could tell. Armored Core looked like more of a more of a controller game. So yeah, I'm I'm heavily leaning towards getting that for for PS5. Um, I mean, my my gaming queue is so... is kind of a little ridiculous at the moment. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, so I'm aye, like, aye. I should at least play some of these games that I haven't played through and beaten yet because I definitely want to play through this on stream and beat it. There's MechWarrior 5 that I think would also be fun um, 
to to play. That's true. I I could stream basic on PS5 if I if I wanted. Um so when you stream Ghosty, your microphone sounds good. Are you just using the standard uh microphone that's built into the controller or did you get a microphone for uh for stream? Which obviously if you're just using the controller, it's it's completely it's obviously very adequate cuz I can't tell. Um but I am I am curious. Oh fuck, we've got turrets. And uh, okay. Well, Yep, maximum, uh, maximum evasion here. Let's, uh, let's go with, uh, let's just, yeah, we'll go with that. That should be fine. On the move. Uh, headset with a mic. Ah, Steel Series. Okay. So I, I could look up Amazon with that and just pick up a, uh, a mic headset combo and be able to do that. Bluetooth, I assume? Arctis Pro 7 or something, or 7 or 9 or something. Cool. Arctis Pro. I will definitely keep an eye out for that. Yeah, that would be fun, I think, because there are a couple of uh, games I've got for PS5 that would be oh, wire, even better. I actually really prefer Wired, even though my couch is a little far away. I just got a USB, like an Amazon Essentials $5 USB extender, and I have, I, I've always just plugged my controllers in. That way I can just set all the vibration stuff as normal, and I don't have to worry about it draining the battery or any of that stuff. Same, I don't really move all that much. Well, I have a cat, so I'm... Whenever she needs me to open the sliding glass door, yeah, I do that. But um, I theoretically could get a webcam that's PS5 compatible. I know the PS5 does have a... Um, oh, right, I'm now in a different... Um, so... <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I, I should probably explain something in a second. Um, yeah, exactly. I don't want to worry about charging. Uh, I'm like you. I don't, I don't really move around a whole lot. I'm just... When I sit down... I just kind of camp out on the couch and I land back and I play uh, and it's fun. Um, so they're cheap, like 50 camera main. Um, nice. Nice. Uh, yeah, I don't worry about. Yeah, I, I probably wouldn't worry about the camera, but I know there are cameras that are PS5 compatible. So, I mean, I theoretically I theoretically could. Um, but obviously I wouldn't have all my OBS plugins or anything else like that. But who, who, who really gives a crap? Um, but I definitely want to play and stream on PS5, East 8 and East 9. And I only have those games for uh, for PlayStation. I could theoretically buy them for Steam, but I, I just, I don't feel like, I mean, I've got a PC controller, but I don't want to buy the same game. I already own it for PlayStation. I shouldn't have to buy it twice just because I want to stream it. So if I streamed on PlayStation, that would, that would solve that problem. Um, outright good to go yeah let's let's go up here and let's uh so the game's initiative system is uh is as follows so you have five initiative phases so essentially what you do is you've got your and it goes in weight class so it kind of goes from like over here is the light phase um i think four is actually the light phase three is the medium phase which is why we're operating in three right now. Both Glitch and Behemoth are piloting medium mechs, so they're going to be in three. Decker's piloting a heavy mech, so he'll be running in two. And now I'm in an assault mech. Well, Renegade's in an assault mech, but yeah, me. Uh, so I go in the last initiative phase. So it's it's just one of the game's ways of counterbalancing um, and accounting for the speed of light mechs. You get to essentially respond quicker. Um, but I kind of like going lower anyway so we let's see what we got uh i need to be able to do 50 damage to you uh actually i need to do 52 points of damage to you so let's do that and that i think right because that's a uh... yeah it's fine um let's do that and we'll do oh uh hmm oh god really Yeah, fine. Let's just let's just shoot you with AC twos, and we'll shoot the turret with medium lasers. Let's not mess around. Uh -huh. Let's make sure that LRM turret goes down. So I'd hate to play games with it, only for one of the lasers to miss. All right, and we still did some damage to the javelin. That works for me. Good to go. And we will advance. Ooh, we'll go here so I have cover, and we'll see what's going on here. Wow, really? That's all right, we're going to shoot at that javelin a little bit more. Problem is, I think this this frickin' turret is going to shoot at us. 
So that part kind of sucks. But I don't see any other option. So yeah, let's just take a flyer on the AC-10. Ooh, nice shot. Nice shot, Behemoth. Nice. We're really messing up that javelin now. That good. Yeah, blew its goddamn arm off. Good to go. It was awesome. Uh, yeah, Decker, let's just have you hover over here. Uh, wow, I might just end that. Uh, yeah, let's just... Actually, could I just hang back here? You know what? I'm just going to hang right back here and just shoot at the javelin. Let's make it have a bad day. Perfect. Blew its leg off and it falls and it loses its cover. Critical hit, Commander. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to end that javelin in a second. I don't see how it survives. Yeah, I had a feeling. Oh, it's amazing how often the, 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 the AI hits me with stray shots. <laughs> you, you little bastard. <laughs> oh, man, that's just so funny. All right, well, whatever. All right, let's just advance here. I'll deal with the turret. I'll have Behemoth go up here and deal with this turret in a second. But in the meantime, wow. Uh, okay, fine. Fair enough. Let's advance. Yeah, the Victor is like one of the crummier assault mechs, but it's still an assault mech. Uh, I am not going to fire that AC-20 at the moment because I feel like we should still be able to kill it with this. Let's save the AC-20. Oh, except I missed. I missed with the laser. I didn't think it would miss at that range, but oh well. It's fine. Glitch. Glitch will be able to either glitch or be... Well, we'll have glitch deal with it. Perfect. Yeah, that Victor's got enough armor. It could take the punishment of these turrets. There's just going to be some light turrets. And we'll take care of that. Now the Jenner goes and it's not going to have the virtue of... Brace, uh, braced or those evasive, uh, or all those evasive tokens. Which is fine. I'm going to have Glitch go after the mech that's down, Behemoth go after the turret, and then Renegade's going to go after that, uh, Javelin. Or, uh, Jenner. Perfect. Good deal. Although they are melting its armor off, so that's not great. That's the only problem if... So the, this is a good mech for the, this kind of frontline work. It can kind of take this, although I don't like that it's all going into that left torso. Um, first, first things first. Let's... Yeah, let's... Let's go up here and let's deal with... Let's go up here and let's deal with that turret. Got it. Hopefully... I am close enough to... Yep, I am. Perfect. Good. 40... Let's see. 52 damage. Um... Should be okay. Really should be okay. Let's try and take out this light sniper to target. Yep, perfect. We got it. Turret destroyed. Excellent. Turret destroyed. Yeah, philosophically, even though turrets really can't do all that much damage, but to me they're so easy to destroy that I like taking out the turrets as quickly as possible, just to give the enemy less turns overall. Now that thing's not going to fire at me at all. Well, other than the one time it did. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry, Javelin. You're never going to get to go again. Waiting for orders. Oh, yeah. Don't need to tell me twice. It's over. <laughs> Goodbye, Javelin. The only question is, do I... Uh, do I split my fire? I think not. I think we melt this fucker. Got it. Yep. <laughs> I could have split my... F I could have... I mean, I could have played games with it because Glitch has multi-shot. And I didn't think it would Stay take down. that many shots to take it out. But... At that point, it was like, why, why mess around? It was just... Uh, made more sense to just take it out. Uh, Well, this being the case, you know what? Let's... You know what? Let's have Decker advance. We'll have him precise shot the Jenner. Yeah. Okay, never mind. We're going to melt the Jenner now. 
Wow, the Jenner didn't die. Holy crap. I'm actually surprised the Jenner took that much damage. I thought the Archer would kill it. But this is good, because now it's firing at different things. What I didn't want to do is only firing at the Victor the entire time. Uh, will this be in the case? Let's advance to cover. And yeah, I guess let's advance here. Yeah, let's advance into cover. It's always nice when you essentially get a hit point boost. <sighs> yeah, fuck the Jenner. <laughs> I didn't even bother wasting precise shot on that. I didn't see any chance in hell surviving the AC-20 shot. Wow, that turret only hit with one missile. That looked like it was like an LRM-15 too. So for only one of those to hit is really awful, uh, awful gunnery. We only have one more javelin to go. What can I do for you? I'm thinking, let's, uh... Shit, man. I kind of, uh... I'm actually going to have Glitch sprint over here. Got it. Because I think that turret's going to shoot at her again. And I may as well advance and give it something harder to shoot at. Plus, my heat is so out of control anyway. Commander. It doesn't even matter. Uh... Wow, I'm only doing that much damage there. Jesus Christ, really? All right, well, fine. Yeah, let's do that. Roger. Let's just back up. We'll precision shot, and we'll take out the javelin. I like this plan. Firing. Why mess? Why mess around? Yep. Confirmed. Perfect. So we got a bonus for destroying the base garrison. What's up, boss? Let's see. Oh, cool. I can shoot the turret. Acknowledged. Yeah, let's shoot. Let's destroy that LRM turret before it even gets a chance to go. I think there's another turret back here. Pretty sure this is where it is, even though I can't target it at the moment. But uh, let's. Yeah, I've got more than enough ammunition. I don't need to manage ammo at this point. Pose it. <laughs> oh, I need it all. All 40. One less turret. It's fine. Yeah, let's advance and let's just start blowing up buildings. Oh yeah. I do like the fire effects in this game. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna save my AC-20 ammo just in case something shows up to... Uh... Yeah, I'll just... I'll conserve ammo. We're just going to shoot lasers only and demolish the base. Yes, Commander. I don't think I'm going to have that option here, though. Yeah, I am going to have that option here. Yeah, all right. Just, uh, sprint. Just sprint. If it requires ammunition, I'm not wasting it on the base. Because the game does love to send reinforcements our way. You, As we all well know. Uh, still pretty sure there's a uh, On my way. turret over here. We'll just yeah. Okay, I was wrong. It was further back. Huh. So it's all the way back there, huh? Hey, fair enough. Here Blow up this building. Go. I'm reading heavy damage to an enemy structure. Bring it down. Commander. Let's see. Will I be within? Yep, perfect. I'll be in medium laser laser Roger. range of that. Start lasering that building. A lot of these other buildings don't have nearly the um the armor of these medium military building. Look how much, look how many freaking hit points this building has. Holy Firing. shit! Normally I would just avoid it, but at this point I'm like. I Curious what the story is. It takes so much damage to bring this damn thing down. I am a little, more than a little curious. Wow, these also have a lot of 
It's also will take a lot of damage. All right, fair enough. I mean, I could just shoot it with the auto cannon. I mean, that's going to make a lot of its hit points go away in a hurry. You know what? Fuck it. There it goes. Target building. <laughs> I hear ya. Building trash. So now we'll go. You betcha. Fire at that turret. And toggle the medium lasers off. Maybe one medium laser. Yeah, let's do that. We'll just Here take we out go. the turret. Goodbye, turret. Bang! You're dead. Waiting for orders. I never get tired of glitches commentary. Yeah, let's just shoot that. Heck with it. Target confirmed. I know I said I was gonna conserve ammo, but I've got more than enough. Receiving you. I'll just deal with it. Now the archer, I'll, I'll keep the ammo for the archer, but those two other medium lasers should take out their that building. Local government munitions factory. Oh, I haven't taken out any. Uh... Taking the shot. I haven't taken out any of the Enemy four buildings I need to. Eliminated. I guess I didn't even need to take out that building. Shit. <laughs> I should have been paying more attention to what buildings I should be blowing up. Oh. oh, I think this was the building it was trying to get me to blow up and I targeted the other one anyway. Yeah, whatever. Fine. Whatever. Or DACA. Ow. I did not destroy that building. Good to go. Christ. Fine. Okay. That Tell one. Tell me what to shoot. Doing damage to it. So I'm glad I just dealt with the um Aye aye. I'm glad I just dealt with the garrison in advance. You could theoretically easily focus on this and just avoid the garrison, especially if the garrison target would have been destroyed. too tough, but the garrison was easy enough to just deal with. Orders. Why are you? So MechWarrior 5 has some very similar missions to this, demolition Target missions where you have to go in and trash a base. I have a different philosophy in that game. I do avoid the garrison um, as much as I can. And, uh, and just try to trash the base and get the hell out of there. But a lot of cases you can't completely ignore the garrison. Sh sucks. <laughs> And it usually takes forever to, demol to demolish some of those structures. Yeah, we wipe the Op 4 out. We just get money, get the hell out of there. And because we didn't take any component damage, armor is free in this game to repair. So we're just making, we're just making money now. We're kind of making our money back from the, uh, from the Victor we bought. But yeah, the Victor is slightly better than the, um, damn, still not getting those. All right, fine. Jenner it is. Uh, but yeah, the Victor is slightly better than the Centurion we were piloting. Just a smidge. We're going to have a much easier time as we uh, as we deal with this, some of these campaign missions. I feel like I've sufficiently warmed up, but I want to do one of those other missions before we tackle the uh, Panzer mission. The Panzer mission is an interesting one. Um, well, I'll get it. I'll get it a Panzer before we to get into that actually let's take a look and see if we can upgrade anybody we still can't oh, okay one more mission and we'll be able to upgrade one of these good Commander. we're getting there with that what can i do for you same with you, same with you. Okay, we, can't, we can't spend any xp lovely um so let's see grand theft auto do we want to do the escort or do we want to do the assassination mission 
Um, you know what? Let's do Grand Theft Auto. We're, we're, gonna, we're not going to do the aggressive negotiation one. We're just going to do Grand Theft Auto. So the local government authorities here on Lurton have recently taken a shipment of military vehicles, including an operational demolisher. That demolisher we're going to have to destroy with extreme prejudice. This represents an unacceptable buildup of force on this world, but also represents us with an opportunity. We have people in place prepared to steal these vehicles, but without mechs providing an escort, they'll be attacked as soon as local government command notices they're leaving without orders. Good. So the demolisher is going to be on our side. That's fucking awesome. Um, get the vehicles to an extraction point and keep them intact. We are definitely going to fucking do that. Hell yeah. Let's see. So half a million sea bills or better savage. You know what? We're going to go with the half a million sea bills. I may regret that decision. But let's let's go with that. Let's go with that. I'm wishing I didn't chug that soda. I stopped by Publix on the way home, got a public sub. My good old staple, good old chicken tender sub. The ladies at the sub aisle or substation pretty much know me by heart because I always get the same thing. And at first they always gave me weird looks because I would be the weirdo that um specifically um, only gets chicken tenders and cheddar on my sandwich. I don't get mayonnaise. I don't get mustard, lettuce, tomato, none of that stuff. Just chicken and cheddar. It should be like an easy sandwich to make, but they always were like, that, that, that's it? That, that's all you want? <laughs> I can almost see them thinking, this this Seraph guy, he, he's kind of crazy. <laughs> I don't know why that is, just because I want a simple sandwich, but... Um, so yeah, that's my that's my public experience. Perfect, Commander. The motor pool is in this area. Move up and occupy it, and we'll signal to the compelling agents to start their engines. Once they power those vehicles up, all hell is going to break loose. So be ready. But Darius is right. Those demolishers, okay. those things are terrifying, and I'm glad we're going to have one on our side. All right. So while we advance up here, yeah, I'm just going to go around. I'm not going to try to jump up here. Well, actually, I could. I could have the Victor jump up there. We'll see. We'll see. Coordinates received. That up there. Boom. Excellent. All right. So, oh, I could just jump up. Just literally run. All right. Fine. Glitch, on the other hand, you're going to go with this. I read you, Commander. Moving out. Same with the Centurion. Okay. Right, well, fine. Yep. We'll just go around this way. At some point, I also have to, I do have to replace this chair. I need something with a higher back that actually can support my, uh, support my neck these days. Uh, let's just jump here, just in case. Engaging jump jets. Oh, there really isn't anybody here. All right, fair enough. I really thought we were going to have to fight through somebody. That's nice. Affirmative. Where are we going? Okay, there's the drop uh, dropship platform. So we're going to be going, we're going to be going over this strip of land here, and we're going to be heading over here. So that's good. We could deploy our mechs here, and then just have the archer go into the uh, uh, capture zone. You betcha. Nice job, Seraph. Be nice if you could remember what the names for any of these things are. Yes, Commander. Aye aye. Excellent. Most excellent. So we're going to deploy you here. We'll deploy you out on that. We will deploy you. Let's just do that here. Copy that. Archer, you go there. Confirmed. I'll have to get some water in a second. I'll probably wait till after this mission, though. Bravo squad, this is Argo Actual. Are you ready to move? There we go. That's a little better. Perfect. All right. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Roger, Argo. The good news is that the, demol that the demolisher is armed. The bad news is it needs some serious maintenance and its armor is garbage. Oh, no. 
In other words, it's a glass cannon. Don't count on too much support from it, boss. And definitely don't let it take any fire, mother. Uh, so there's the striker there. Okay, so there's a galleon tag. Oh, geez, all these are... Well, I guess there's a reason why they were here. But yeah, the demolisher has two AC-20s on it. So now you see why I was like, whenever I see a demolisher in these missions, I have to destroy it immediately. Uh, cause otherwise, yeah, that demolisher will just absolutely demolish you. It's awful. Okay, Coordinates moving. received. Yep, move up. And... Yep. Enemy detected. And we got enemies, huh? On my way. Well, that didn't take long. Although I could see why the locals, the local government would scramble like mad to keep uh, the Capellans from stealing um, <laughs> their demolisher and some of these other vehicles. <laughs> Crap. That locust is going to spy for them, so if they have any long-range weapons whatsoever, they'll fire. Just like that. Yep. I think they destroyed the, the tag unit. Well, we would have gotten a bonus if all the units had survived. But I mean, I didn't even get a chance to go. It was two locusts. Like, th there, was, there was no... There was no keeping that mech alive. Unless I had waited a turn. Well, you know, I could have done that. Actually, I could have done that. I could have just had the archer wait there. Move my mechs over one. So that my mechs were in front. Well, oh well. It's really not that big a deal. I hear ya. Yeah, it's really not that big a deal. But all right, let's let's advance. All right, well. On my way. I think we see what Seraph is going to do here. Yeah, heck with it. At least this way, there's a shot in hell of hitting that thing. Yeah. Let's just do that. Got it. All right, managed to hit it twice. I mean, the locusts are fast and they're hard to hit, but they can't take a hit to save their lives. Like even a medium laser is breaching their armor. Huh? And these aren't previously damaged locusts either. Ready for orders. So good question. Yeah, I'm just going to have Behemoth shoot at it. Because I'm going to whittle down its evasion either way. All right. I mean, if the AC-10 had hit it, I might have killed that locust. So it was worth trying. I will take that. All right. Nice. Nice shot, Striker. Yeah, they live up to their name. Yeah, they do. <laughs> Absolutely, ghosty. <laughs> oh man, yeah. Let's just Born end this received. locust. Good question. Yeah, let's try it. I think I'll kill this mech anyway. Perfect. Just like that. So it's always better to destroy both legs. Uh, Cause you end up with more, um, more salvage by blowing the legs off the mech instead of having to core it. Ooh, we got something. Ah, we've got a mech over there, huh? All right, well, let's cruise over here then. Let's see what showed up over there. Yeah. Not sure why I can't even strike it, but whatever. If I do vigilance, even if I do vigilance, I'm not getting there. So fuck it. Let's take a better shot at killing this locust. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> oh man. The day is just made better with explosions. <laughs> I think it's too far away to activate its target acquisition gear. That's it. 
Well, there goes my galleon tag. Yeah. Uh. I wish that I could have told the tag to wait. What can I do for you? But no such luck. Uh, yeah, let's just dance. I wonder why those weapons are so awful. Huh. Oh, it's sitting in a mineral field. That's adding to its difficulty to hit. Good to go. Little bastard. And it still managed to hit me. That's amazing. Got it. That guy really shouldn't have even been able to make that shot against the uh the galleon tag. Oh well. Firing all weapons. Wow, Behemoth. You did like no damage to that thing. <laughs> Striker doing more damage than uh, Behemoth here. Alright, fine. Let's just advance. Open fire. Roger. Another reason why I like switching out the medium lasers for the um nice shot, Decker. Uh for that heat sink. Because then I could just fire LRM volley after LRM volley after LRM volley. The standard archer, you fire like two LRM volleys, maybe three, and you're running into heat problems. Um this way, I get a good couple of volleys out of that thing before I have to worry about um Heat regeneration. Don't need to tell me twice. On my way. So it's my it's way. much nicer to be able to just continuously sustain fire with it. And it's got enough ammunition that the archer really doesn't have too much of a problem just opening fire and sustaining that fire. Wow, that demolisher is uh going nowhere. Holy crap. Um maybe I'll leave Decker back here for now. Uh, yeah, we'll deploy you here. Uh huh. Sure, what's gonna show up here? But I feel like bullshit's gonna come this way. So I'm gonna have Behemoth over here. Location confirmed. And Decker can just On it. hang out here. Give this demolisher cover. Because if you get too far away from it, it'll go, oh my god, I don't have any cover. And it'll stop moving. So, plus, it's got long range. I can just hang out there. My god, that demolisher goes nowhere. Holy fuck. Um. Jesus. I almost don't even know if I should go into the escort zone. I'm just gonna hang out here. I'm gonna hang out here. I'm gonna have her show up here. Moving out. Yeah, we'll just have you. Set up shop in those woods. Take cover in those. Yeah, take cover in the woods there. Decker, you just stay there, buddy. Stabilizing and bracing. Ah, oh, the joys of the escort mission. It is going to be a while. We're just going to wait for it. <laughs> So yeah, let's see. Where was I? Um, what was I talking about? Yeah, I know. We're we're done. <laughs> At this point, we've we're protecting the uh, the line here. Yep. Ah, there we go. Local government. I don't know who you are, but power down those vehicles and surrender. We'll turn them and you into scrap. No, you won't. Keep radio silence, people, and expect more company. <laughs> You're in position, Commander. Hold your ground until the package is on its way. Yeah, now all now all hell breaks loose. Yeah, for them to have been that close, they must have been powered down and just out of sight, and then they just turned on, and then we kind of just saw them. It's the only thing I could think of, because they literally appeared right in an area that I was directly monitoring. <laughs> like, are you kidding me, bro? Um, all right, that panther is gonna get to go, I think. 
but yes, Commander. Just for the sake of it. Fuck him. Giving him everything I've got. Waiting for orders. Uh, ooh, I could just go up and smash this uh, fire starter, and it'll avoid that. Let's see, or I could go here. Yeah, let's go here and on my way. Give the panther a bad time. But one thing I will do. Let's toggle everything on. And we're gonna draw aggro here. Oh, why are you fine? That'll work. Perfect. You get a headshot. And the and advantage of that is because they were fired on by glitch. They're not gonna, um, they're not gonna fire on the convoy. They'll probably fire at her instead. Wow, and she managed to hit both of them. Sweet, I'll take it. So you're, oh, well, that works. Take, wow. See, that's part of the problem is like, woo, the AI got a head hit. Who gives a shit? It's probably not gonna matter. <laughs> That's that's the part that really really sucks about um, about that. Wow, really? Uh, what if I go over here? Is it still? Wow, it's even less. Or if I just shoot you from there? Wow, okay. Fine. Let's uh, let's go here and at least have fifty. Acknowledged. We'll do that, and we'll do precision strike because I would really rather. Do a lot of damage to that panther. I copy. <laughs> That's a lot of missiles, man. <laughs> Critical hit, Commander. Would have been better for the other arm, but oh well. Say la vie. Well, yeah. Let's just come up here. Yeah. Okay. Take some high ground here, and we'll defend. And we'll defend the drop ship loading. All weapons committed. Goodbye, Panther. Yeah, after this, we're gonna take we're gonna do that campaign mission. Fucking fire starters. I hate those mechs. They're one of the worst light mechs to have to fight. They punch above their weight. Uh, like heavy and the fact there. that they have flamers that can overheat your mech are terrible. <laughs> All right. So she, yeah, they're stripping the armor off a little bit, but Commander? we got this. We, oh, yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter. Yeah, let's just attack you from the front. Affirmative. March our way back up. Ah. Go, do some damage. The blackjack really doesn't do great melee damage, but it will What's lose up, its evasive. That part's nice. Oh, uh, really? It showed me its rear arc? Is that smart? Ah, uh, I'm not going to be able to fire at the LRM-10, though. Damn. Well... All right, fine. Oh, okay, fine. Fine, fine, fine. But it's showing me it's rear arc. Which doesn't seem like a good plan, but okay, fine. Let's put it in the back. Firing. Done. One of the reasons why yeah, not enough heat sinks. <laughs> I don't know if anything's enough heat sinks to deal with one of these fire starters, Ghosty Wait Man, but holy crap. These, these fucking mechs, they're the worst. Oh my god. I was uh, actually playing with, uh, actually he comes on stream every so often. I was playing with Warhammer one time, uh, Mech Warrior 5, on and target. the poor guy, he just hops on. He's basically never even played the game, right? Perfect. Nice shot, Decker. And uh, so he gets into Warhammer. Now, mind you, the Warhammer is a great mech. Uh, perfect. We just won this. Mission we don't successful. even have to protect him anymore. Everything's dead. Um, 
And uh, so I've got a number of mechs and I forget what I've got at the time. I think I may have had like a Wolverine or something. Um, maybe I had a Marauder. I'm not, I'm not really sure what I was piloting, but I had a Warhammer. So I'm like, well, I got to let Warhammer play in the Warhammer. I, this is, this is just like, this is, uh, you know, Kismet. We, we just, we just gotta, we gotta do this. So, um, so anyway, he hops in that Warhammer and literally first mission. What I should have done is just done a warm up mission, but I, I thought, yeah, we're in a, I thought we were going to take an easy mission and everything else, but like, we don't know the, they didn't know the controls. I wasn't, it wasn't the only person playing for the first time in that, but, um, but it, it, the story is, ends up being funnier. Um, and so we're going to complete a locust here and we got a bunch of locust one M's. Holy crap. Uh, let's see. No, no good lost tech. All right, let's go with the, um, yeah, let's go with the 1M. Maybe it'll give us some more 1M salvage. It didn't, because of course it didn't, but whatever. We're still going to complete a Locust. And uh, so he goes after this fire starter in, in a Warhammer. And it overheats him. His mech shuts down. And we just see compo like components and um, locations getting blown off of his mech. And so me and Phoenix Nate are like, all right, that we're on our way. We're going to try and run to you. Just hang in there, buddy. And that... That fire starter just ran around him and just blew parts off of that Warhammer until he finally cored and destroyed the mech. And we're just like, oh my fucking god. We just watched a uh we just we just watched a fire starter just obliterate a Warhammer. And we're like, yeah, this this game has like no chill whatsoever. <laughs> and it's it's just one of those one of those stories that's like you you couldn't you couldn't make this shit up, man. Um, oh my God. Yeah, that game, that game, if you don't know what you're doing or if you've never played it before, it's not like MWO. It's, uh, there is definitely a learning curve involved, but once you get it, it's not too bad. But yeah, it definitely doesn't give you any kind of like, oh, you're a first time, first time player. Yeah, no, we're. We're going to fuck up your day just because we can. I would love to spend money on this Marauder salvage, but I still don't have enough to justify taking the taking the risk with it. But that is a fantastic mech. I, I wish I could, um, especially at this level. That is a much better mech than the Victor. I may I may end up taking the chance with it anyway. I mean, I'm at some point going to put together a Marauder, but um, but at this level, there are better things I feel like I could spend the money on. But let's see, is there any other... I mean, I could do another mission, but I like the idea of getting on with it. I want to do another campaign mission here and get, and get this show on the road. Um, because... what was that other mission? Yeah, aggressive negotiations, it's just, it's an assassination mission. Um... Let's see. Yeah, we'll break you in the game. Literally. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. I still couldn't believe how quickly that fire starter fucked him up. Um, but after that, I had a much, much more improved opinion of the fire starter's ability to give you a bad time. And even in this game, retroactively, I find myself the second I see a fire starter, I'm like, fuck that thing in particular. We're taking that little bastard out. Um, Cause yeah, they, if you, if you are not on top of things, even though they're a light mech, oh my God, can they just, they, they, they just, I've never seen a mech so reliably punch above its weight like a fire starter can. Um, you know what? Yeah, let's, let's just do this one really quick. We're, yeah, we're, we're going to do this. Cause then we could buy that Marauder salvage and we could move on to the campaign mission because I would prefer the Marauder over the Victor um, or in a perfect world, both. Um, but what have you? Yeah, let's just do this real quick. This this should be this. Sh we should be able to move right along because even if this ends up going crazy, we could take out who we're paid to assassinate and just run to the LZ and get the hell out of here. So let's try and just let's try and do this one really quick. And then we'll get on with our campaign mission.
Uh, so final warm up for the night. <laughs> I feel like Maxi now, where uh, where he like does warm ups for an hour. <laughs> I've actually gotten a chance to catch Maxi stream a whole bunch. Oh, he went to the dentist today. I wonder how he made out. Um, hopefully, hopefully he had a good dentist visit. Um, poor guy. Maxi's a streamer that that Ghosty and I both know. Um, for anybody else wondering who we're talking about, um, I don't remember what country he's in. Is he in Sweden or something? Um, I feel like he's in Sweden. Unrelated, but sort of. I'm working on a light striker mech on a uh, uh, nice. <laughs> so you're working on your own uh, little fire starter. Probably more of like a Vulcan. Nice. That's the part of Armored Core that looks like it would be a lot like this game, where you could really play around with builds and uh, do all sorts of like crazy things. Um, I think I would have a lot of fun in Armored Combat coming up with different build strategies. Uh, recon it. Oh, and speaking of a Vulcan, we've we've got a Vulcan here. So, uh, yeah, this, we, we should have a fun time here. Okay. Um, so Let's good. It already it. told us where the escorts are. We don't know where the reinforcements are. Oh, the reinforcements are this way. Okay. You know what we're going to do? We're going to go this way. Very rarely does it don't tell you tell where the reinforcements are. I guess because it's early in the game, it's telling us where the reinforcements are. We're going to go back. We're going to deal with reinforcements first, first rather. And then we're going to proceed north this and we're going like to defeat all these fuckers from ambush. details. Be careful, oh, he's from the Netherlands. Yeah, that's wildfire. that's totally different. <laughs> I mean, same continent, but I mean, completely different landmass. <laughs> oh, my God. I hope at this point, I hope Max, he's not watching. He'll be like, oh, my God, these stupid, these stupid American seraph. He doesn't know his geography from his ass. <laughs> uh, probably made it up by the skin of his... Yeah, right? Probably made it up by the skin of his teeth. Well, the poor guy, he had a broken... Um, he had like a broken wisdom tooth or some crazy ass thing. Um, like, and I'm like, holy fuck, dude. Um, yeah, I've never had a broken tooth. I had to get my wisdom teeth removed. But in my case, I had two wisdom teeth on the top but I didn't have the corresponding matching ones to go along with the bottom. So when my perfectly good wisdom teeth grew in, they started pummeling the gums on my bottom jaw. And every time I bit into something, literally time, every moment I chewed, I'm biting my jaw with my wisdom teeth. I'm just like, oh my fucking God. And my dentist is looking at me like, yeah, we're sorry. Sorry, Seraph. We're, we're totally going to have to uh, extract your two perfectly good wisdom teeth. Unless you're okay with biting yourself every time you bite. And I'm like, no. No, let's remove them. <laughs> oh my god. So let's see. Yeah, I'm so glad we came to deal with the reinforcements. I knew. I knew. I knew the game was going to try and do this to me. You see this shit? All these reinforcements have long-ranged weapons. All these fuckers, when I'm fighting the fucking escorts and the guy I'm supposed to assassinate, these shitheads would be firing at me from probably here, all the way over here, I would have no way to fight back and they'd be shooting me in the back with all this bullshit. <laughs> so yeah, I am very glad the game told me where they were. So we could just go up here and we could just deal with these guys. Oh yeah, yeah, this fire starter is going down. This fire starter is going down actually. Let's, ooh yeah, let's do this. There is a decent chance that because this line here, we might be able to get a stray shot in this Wolverine. Copy that. I'm thinking not because the computer rarely rewards me with stray shots. But we're going to try it anyway. We're going to try it anyway. Here it comes. Wow, it actually hit that time. All right. Well, I'd rather hit the thing I'm shooting at. Critical hit, Commander. Good try. I mean, it was worth a try. That Wolverine is the worst of these mechs, though. Yep. Here we go. Yeah, I didn't get into cover yet. I need to do that quickly. Shit, they're already kind of roughing her up a little bit. Uh, let's see, you're getting roughed up on the right arm. So let's do that. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll do that. And uh, yeah, let's okay. Let's just shoot at the fire starter and the Wolverine. 
Yeah, we'll do that. Coordinates received. Get to cover, glitch. <laughs> Man, that was bad. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. That way we're hitting with Firing most of our, our things. Target. Cool, and I got a stray shot. That's always nice. Perfect. Strip some armor. Luckily, these guys are already have already uh, been in a fight of some sort. So that's good. All right. Yeah, Decker, you could just stay here. Who who do we destroy? Who do we? Do? Yeah, I might just shoot at the javelin and try to destroy the javelin. Yeah, let's let's do that. Uh, yes. Attack. Fire. Engaging with target. We may kill this javelin outright here. Oh my God, we didn't. Inflicted some heavy damage. Although that javelin, I think, wishes it was dead. <laughs> javelin may wish it was fucking dead, little bastard. Uh, yeah, I gotta shoot the Wolverine here. The Wolverine is is by far the most dangerous of these mechs, so we we gotta go with we gotta go after the Wolverine. Let's do it. There we go. Destroy the large laser. It'll fall over. Its initiative will go down. And hopefully we can have uh, either Glitch or Behemoth um, finish it off. Thinking Glitch will finish it off. That's my plan anyway. All right. So we're, we're having a good time here versus the reinforcements. God damn it. I really do hate that head hit mechanic. At some point, we're going to be able to get cockpit mods that'll at least be able to um, protect by pilots against those kind of cheap hits, and then we don't have to deal with it. Yeah, so we got a little bit of a skirmish over here. Yeah, sensors impaired. That part sucks. Damage minimal. Okay. Up oh, here they come. So hopefully we could deal with this fast enough so we're not caught in between. But if I had gone north, we definitely would have been caught in between. So yeah, let's, uh, you're still down. Let's have glitch, let's have glitch advance and let's try to have glitch kill the Wolverine. To that position. would be nice. Yeah, not, don't fuck around. Just actually. Yeah, only so. Yeah, no. Don't fuck around. Pour the Wolverine if you can. Wow, you didn't really do what I wanted you to do there, Glitch. Fuck. How bad is it? Yeah, 40 away. All right. Good to go. Let's have... <sighs> yeah. Toggle off that, and let's try to take you out. Roger. There we go. Good. Okay. Good, good. Yeah, that Wolverine was definitely dangerous. Ready for orders. You. We're going to tilt you a little bit this way because that archer is going to be the first thing that comes under fire. All right. So, could go after that fire starter or the panther. Hmm. Yeah, let's. Yeah, let's fuck up the Panther. On it. Perfect. OK, we're Off handling this well. So far, so good here. Hmm. Gee, I wonder what I'm going to try to fire at here. Let's try to go up a little bit here. Let's start with drawing. Keep our distance here. And yeah, let's let's try to make sure we don't miss. Fire starter, goodbye. Good boo. <laughs> that that was definitely the more dangerous of the two. That be a problem. Yep, rear attack. Uh, 
Damage is minor, right. Commander. Yep. Whatever this is, continuing to advance. Oh, we just dealt with a fire starter. Fucker. Thankfully, it's still out of range to use those flamers. The flamers are a short range weapon. But that means my archer can now be fired upon. And one of the reasons why I kind of torso twisted is so that it wasn't blatantly showing my back, but it's still hitting my back anyway, goddammit. I need Decker to be able to move. I really tried to make sure they didn't have a good shot at my back, Standing but by. oh well. Can't do anything about it now. Targeting for physical attack. That'll cool off the Centurion for a little bit. And we knocked you down. What I really need is Decker to go. Okay, good. Lich. Commander? Uh, yes. Let's advance. And let's try to take out... Right, Commander. That guy. Granted, I'm overheating. But... Yep. Yeah, I knew I would. All right, let's just take you out if we can. Firing up. Good. Perfect. We dealt with the reinforcements. They're done. Okay. A little tense here. Okay, good. Yes, Commander. Decker can turn around. And it's fucking game over on this fucker. Yeah, we're just going to do that. Heading out. Perfect. Let's see. Yeah. All right. Tore into the left torso a little, but not bad. Not bad. We Got can it. hurt this fire starter a lot and we're going to. <laughs> I didn't think we were going to kill it in one shot. Target eliminated. But I will take it. All right. So now you jump. Perfect. Um... Yeah, let's do that. We're going to jump. And we're going to sensor lock this. Granted, we're not going to be able to... Oh, goddamn fleas. Those things are so annoying. Um, But we'll scramble its sensors, at least. Yeah, they're going to focus fire on the archer a little bit. But Supporting. Minimal damage. at least now its armor is facing the front. And now the rest of my lance can advance while it uh, takes a little bit of a pounding here. I usually try to keep my archers from even getting attacked. But I think it's okay if it if it takes a few shots here. The flea has a, uh, a very... Yeah, this fucking stray shot bullshit. Um, I knew I was at risk of that, but that's still okay. Um, but the flea has a... Where is it? The targeting baffle, where it adds difficulty to even hit it, which Waiting for order. I hate with a passion. Um, all right, so you know what? I'm going to make you a nice juicy target. On purpose, so you don't fire at the archer. Copy that. There we go. <laughs> really damaging that javelin. Sweet. Target's taken a critical hit. That'll pull some fire away from the archer. Waiting for orders. I guess I'm going to have to do that. Really would prefer not to, but I don't think I have much of a choice now, do I? All right, fine. Yeah, I'm not really crazy about that, but so it goes. Let's deal with it. So we're going to face that way. Because her right side is what doesn't have as much armor. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, just shoot with the two decent medium lasers. We're just going to fire at it and vent some heat for the moment. There we go. Perfect. Both hit. Nice. Whittle away some evasion. Good to go. And perfect. Yep. Who's over there? Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I'll just stay right here. Yeah. Fuck this flea. <laughs> a 
Target neutralized. Yeah, I would say so. I would say we neutralized the target. <coughs> God damn. And we still have the Vulcan to deal with up there. But all in due time. All weapons committed. Okay. Now we're ha now we're doing better. <laughs> Certainly better than last stream destroyed. where we kept getting into trouble. We wanted to do just a couple of warm-ups like this and we just had a nice mixture of like bad luck. Granted, any mission you drop, you can run into some bad luck. But man, last stream it seemed like every mission was just going completely ass end sideways. Wow, really? We're having this much trouble? Yeah, all right. Fine. We'll do that. Let's see. Oh, oh why? Thank you, Wookie. I appreciate the follow. Welcome. Welcome to the community, as it were. We're just playing some. We're continuing to play some Battletech. Don't know if you just joined us or you've been hanging out for a while. And as I usually say to people that newly follow, feel free to lurk or chat to your heart's content. I, uh, <laughs> Ghosty and I are being particularly chatty, which is actually very atypical for us because we usually lurk other people's streams. And, uh, <laughs> so we're just, we're just having a good old time now. Uh, let's see, let's see what heat management. Yeah, let's do this. And let's, let's go after this commando because commandos, that large laser, that SRM and that medium laser, that, that commando can, can hurt us if we let it. it. So let's just have some fun here. All right. Messed it up pretty nicely. Excellent. Moving along here. Commander. And we'll have you. Yeah. All right. Let's just, let's just stay put and fire. Usually I'm not a big fan of staying put. Although if you don't move at all, you end up with a little bit of an extra heat. Uh, ah, cool. We destroyed the SRM too, and got a medium laser crit. Perfect. Orders. Uh, actually, let's reserve. Let's reserve, because I think. Yeah, I think we're gonna kill this commando. <laughs> I think we're. Yeah. I had a feeling we were just gonna kill the commando. Let's give the Vulcan, or uh, yeah, let's give the Vulcan that's out there a little more time because it's getting a free turn anyway. So we'll just give it the free turn now. Let it move. Perfect. Now it doesn't have a free turn because now we can sprint and move along. So let's go back to the road. Affirmative. And we'll we'll go find the target that we were actually sent here to deal with. But at least this way, instead of running north and trying to fight the Vulcan while fighting the escorts and having to deal with the reinforcements from the back and being pincered, um, at least this way, we got to just defeat everything in detail in a very manageable fashion. Yep, there's our, there's our bastard. Uh, so we got Decker, glitch is probably as soon as, uh, all right. So nobody can reach it yet. Let's just reserve, let it go. It's probably going to go fire it, renegade here. And, uh, and then we're going to delete it. <laughs> And it's going to have a bad, it's going to have a very bad time. And then we're going, and then we'll go on to our campaign mission. Target damaged. Concentrate your fire and bring it down. The other complication, or at least that can be, see also the red line is nice and solid. Then it goes through the woods and thins out. Oh, well, yeah. All right. So we're going to have that penalty either way. Fine. Um, uh, but that's one way you can kind of just eyeball whether or not you're going to be dealing with to hit penalties or not. Yeah, let's just shoot at it with the AC2. Uh, but another reason why to do it this way is whenever you're doing assassination missions, after the target takes a certain amount of damage, it tries to make a run for it. And in most cases, when it tries to make a run for it. You might have a round, two rounds, maybe three rounds, but I've also had missions where it tries to make a run for it. It doesn't actually have far to go. And I had a mission where Darius goes, oh, it's making a run for it. 
and then it got to go immediately went to the evac zone and left i didn't even get a chance to go <laughs> and it's just gone and i'm like i didn't even know that could happen <laughs> i felt so cheated <laughs> Um, but yeah, there was, there was nothing, there was literally nothing I could do. I failed that mission, and I'm like, through no fault of my own, um, there was literally nothing I could have done. Um, I mean, maybe I could have done Vigilance the turn before, so I went in an initiative phase earlier, but I mean, hindsight, right? Outside of psychic powers, there was no way, you know what, let's just, let's have, yeah, all right, let's just. We don't have a good precise shot yet, but this should still, yeah, that, <laughs> I'm, I'm doing so much damage to that guy, even if it does it at the center torso, it should kill that. So we wiped the op four out, no extraction necessary. Let's, uh, let's go picking through the uh, pieces here. We should have made enough from that to buy the Marauder salvage. So we'll definitely be doing that. We made it a half million sea bills. Now we've got enough where I don't feel bad about rolling the dice on, uh, on the Marauder. So, took out a nice, healthy selection of mechs there. I mean, that was basically nine against four. Um, our mechs were better, but still, nine, nine against four, right? <laughs> Let's see, is there any good? Okay, no, but we check anyway. What I'm checking there for is uh, lost tech. So, weapons with like plus rated weapons or, um, or even good equipment. Sometimes you get good equipment drops. That usually doesn't have it till later. But I check anyway, because you never know what's what's going to end up. That was a very interesting engine sound. I don't think my mic picked up on that, but uh, some some car out there had some uh, <laughs> had some sort of engine pickup. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, the javelins are all really nasty mechs. I mean, 12 SRM tubes. That That's crazy. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to send you to salvage. We're going to go to the store. We're going to sell that javelin because we like money. Um, I mean, I could put a large laser and a large laser plus onto the uh, blackjack, but I don't really want to risk a large laser plus on something as squishy as that blackjack, even though we've added armor to it. Uh, let's take a look. Let's see if there's anything worth buying. I don't think there is. All right, so let's take a look at the mech bay here and let's see if we want to. All right, so let's repair the archer here. We're going to repair that. We'll move you over here. Uh, you are my, yeah, you're my other centurion. We'll swap you. Okay, so this is a good, this is good right now. I don't know if there's going to be anything I could really do to, uh, to mess with this. Now, what I could do is I could remove the jump jets from the Victor and uh, we could swap out their SRM-4 and we could put an SRM-6 on it instead. Um, but it also has a support weapon um, hard point. So we could put a support weapon on it as well. Um, just for the amusement of it, let's, let's check that because I usually don't use, I usually don't use jump jets in a victor, but we are using we are using four tons on jump jets. So the question is, do we use the four tons on the mech's ability to jump? And let's see, the max jump is 150. Um, actually, the victor has a better jump than a move. So maybe I should keep the jump jets for now. Let's at least check and see if it's got... Yeah, I've got no plus medium laser and I don't... Well, I could put a machine gun in there if I do play games with the heat with this, but... Um, so yeah, the decision is... Do I remove the heat sinks and add armor? Remove heat sinks, add armor. Switch the SRM-4 to an SRM-6. Maybe add a machine gun. Um, they may not sound like a lot, but for at least the next mission, I think I'm going to keep the jump jets on because I kind of know what, what we're getting into with the next mission. Uh, so we're going to keep this for now. Okay, let's take a look. Let's take a look at the store. 
Let's buy that Marauder piece. We're going to buy the Marauder piece. Um, it's such a valuable mech. The Marauder is amazing. Um, take a look at our mech warriors too while we're at it. We should. Yes. Good. We are going to do this, even though I don't really have a good, good indirect. I don't really have much in the way of indirect weapons at this point with this particular mech. But once we get master, master tactician, even when I'm in, a, in an assault mech, I'll be operating in the heavy phase. That's really, really helpful. So we're going to we're going to get a make a beeline for that at the moment. Training confirmed, Commander. I think that's worth doing. Aye, aye. Waiting for orders. Perfect. In your case, yeah, we'll do the overheat Training threshold. Complete. Because that go. mech is overheating pretty, pretty badly. I'd rather have the plus to hit. Training complete. Yes, Commander. You're injured anyway. So, perfect. Okay. I believe we are ready. So let's do Liberation Panzer. They're going to pay for our travel, and we're going to get there in 20 days. So anyway, uh, Darius, a little, uh, little briefing here. Uh, proceed to Panzer, where you're going to assist the Restoration Armies to liberate House Decimus. Restoration Army intel suggests that a lance built with long-range fire capabilities could prove advantageous on this drop. It will. Further details will be provided upon your arrival. Uh, and then his further addendum. Uh, this is our first big push to liberate a founding house of the Oregon Coalition. I don't know what to expect any more than you do, but I'd suggest rolling in with the best mechs we've got. Yeah. Darius... We roll in with the best mechs we've got, no matter what mission we're doing, bud. <laughs> but anyway, I love his little commentary. You know, just in case. Roger that, Commander. So we're going to do Force this. Plotted. And away we go here. We got some travel. That work order you submitted Doesn't take long. Complete. So going to Luriton was definitely a good idea. And actually, just for a quick bit here, we're going to go to the uh, star map here. So when we liberated Waldry, um, the Sword of Restoration, uh, Kamea Arano, also was able to liberate Falder and uh, Ishlandis, uh, Ish Ishlangus, there we go, Ishlangus. Uh, and we've got a nice little bit here of liberated territory. And now we're going to be going into enemy territory again. Uh, to assist Kamea's assault on Panzer. And, um... They're... The terrain on Panzer's pretty, a pretty good mix. So Terran means they've got everything. Desert, polar, everything. Um, so we got, uh, as a result of multiple conflicts above the surface of Panzer, the orbital approach to the planet is potentially hazardous. Despite its pleasant climate and resources, it's in a slow decline. Uh, House Decimus, originally from Guldra, took possession of the world's now their home system. Pretty much we only have uh, the Oregon Directorate, the, um, the Irana Restoration, and the Pirates are the only factions available there. And uh, I just wanted to kind of give an update visually of where we're about to head into Panzer as we go uh, again into Directorate territory during this little civil war. Here's the Capellan Confederation. It's probably why we've been having so many Capellan missions because we're so close to them and uh, that's all she wrote so we should be able to get there pretty quick uh, now engineering ship upgrades while we've got this is there an upgrade that I want to do let's see we could do automation here and that might be worth doing we could do the upgraded lounge upgraded power conduits I don't like doing that until we need to uh Beta pod is a really important upgrade. But I think at this point, let's work on automation. It's going to take us 10 days. It's a little expensive, Roger that, but we'll be able to work on mechs commander. and modify them and repair them much quicker. So we'll do an Argo upgrade. And I, I, can, I, I, I feel comfortable doing that. We're still on the plus side of a million sea bills. Granted, we got a financial report. We're going to dip below a million, but we're still going to be pretty healthy before we get to Panzer. I feel like we're in a good, I feel like we're in good shape here. So moving on, another two days. Yep. Time to pay bills. And our, our bills upkeep should be around 300,000 C bills still. It's going to be a little over. Got the financial report. Yeah, 324. About right. 
Okay, advancing more. And then once we get to Panzer, we could probably even do a couple of missions in Panzer if we really wanted to. Although, depending on how things go, we may still be better off going back to Luritan and um, Herodotus just to Those see if we can try to complete a Marauder. And like I said, with this game, if you only do the story missions, the difficulty spike uh, kind of is an exponent curve instead of something that's a little more linear. Uh, and every time you do the story missions, all of the other missions get more correspondingly more difficult. So anyway, we've arrived at Panzer Commander, ready to proceed with our current contract. Yes, yes, Darius, we are. This is a fun mission. Welcome to Panzer Commander McDougal. Lady Arano and the Restoration Army are already fighting on the planet's surface and have been for weeks. With the aid of House Decimus' ground support facilities, Ms. Meyer will carry your land through Panzer's orbital debris field and drop you on the surface. Tell us more about this debris field, Lord Madeira. Surely the fact that we're talking about a debris field won't be very, very pertinent in a few comments from now. <laughs> it's a holdover from the Amara Civil War. And as a quick aside for everybody watching, either live on Twitch or on YouTube, if you're not... F I, I gotta imagine anybody watching this is familiar with the Amara Civil War, but it is like one of the major events in the lore of the Battletech universe. Um, it's basically what ended the Star League. You had Stefan Amares, who usurped the throne from um, Cameron. Cameron. Oh my God, I'm forgetting his name. One, but one of the Camerons, first Lord of Star League, Cameron. Um, it was the young one. So basically, he was this kind of young, impressionable kid. And Stefan Amari kind of took him under his wing and got him to got him completely convinced that everybody else was after him. Uh, got him to trust him got all of his mechs from his loyal periphery kingdom to Terra to protect him. And then all of a sudden there's the coup and that's pretty much um, all she wrote because at that point, um, the Stefan Amari, after he pronounced himself first Lord of the Star League was like, yeah, I'm first Lord now. And General Krensky, head of, uh, head of the Star League Defense Force was like, the fuck you are. And the other... Uh, House Lords just kind of went, let's see how this goes. And lo and behold, three, I think it took him like three or four years or something like that. It may have even been longer, but uh, Kerensky ended up, well, Kerensky originally went to, I, I'm not gonna, I'm doing like a very brief TLDR here. But anyway, so Kerensky goes, kicks the shit out of Amaris' homeworlds. And then there's this long campaign to liberate Terra. And um, needless to say, the, uh, the remaining lords couldn't figure out who should be first lord after that and the succession words followed and that's kind of all she wrote for the whole Battletech universe. Um, so anyway, there was a great battle in orbit over Panzer and most of the wreckage is still there in the form of a dense field of particulate material. Navigating the field unassisted would be a formidable task. Thankfully, we'll have the spaceport's control center on our side. It'll be able to guide us in and to said tugs to assist us if necessary. You feeling okay about this, Samiri? Oh yeah, Commander, no sweat. With the kind of navigational support I'll be getting from ground control, I could take us to the field with my eyes closed. Let's keep going. What happens when, after we're on the surface? Lady Orana wants your lance behind enemy lines. While she leads from the front, you will harass the Directorate's supply train and target valuable military hardware. She already has a target list drawn up for you. I actually forgot last stream to start talking to these people. They actually have some really interesting interactions. I feel like I've kind of shortchanged it by not talking to them. Um, I'll try and do that a little bit going forward here. Hold that thought, Lord Madeira. Commander, I'm getting a type beam communication from the planet's surface. It's Lady Arano, and it looks urgent. I'm putting it on screen now. Renegade, you couldn't have arrived at a better time. Our forces on the surface desperately need your help. Shocker. With the support of House Decimus, we're making our final push against the Directorate's last major stronghold. Our forces are fully committed to the attack and we're pushing them back, but the Directorate just seized control of Panzer's only remaining spaceport. With it, they'll be able to call down reinforcements at will. I need someone to take the spacecraft's control center away from them. Renegade, that someone is going to have to be you. That means that Ms. Meyer will have to carry you through the debris field unassisted. I hope that her skills are up to the task. Well, this day just got a lot more interesting. 
I'm afraid there's more, Alexander. I've just received a, received a message from Lady Centrella. There's been a major incident on Perdition. It looks like terrorist action, a chemical attack against the port city of Harlow's Landing. Initial casualty reports some 11,000 dead. Chemical attack? That sort of thing's not supposed to happen anymore. Protector Calderon would be inclined to agree. He's claiming that the attack was an act of Davian aggression, in direct violation of the Ares Conventions. Long story, very long story, but basically the Ares Conventions were, all right, no nuclear weapons, uh, here's how we're going to do warfare from now on, and it essentially really enabled the rise of the battle mech as a instrument of warfare. He's already calling it the Perdition Massacre. For their part, the Davians have denied all knowledge of the attack. Their denials are fall on deaf ears. Calderon won't believe anything that Hans Davian, <laughs> Hans the Fox Davian, uh, has to say. This is going to accelerate our timetable. We need to retake your throne before this situation gets any worse. If uh, a war was to erupt between the Federation and the Concordat, it could easily spill into the region. We can't afford that kind of chaos. I can't say I like the idea of a couple of superpowers inserting themselves into our campaign. Then we better push forward before that happens. I want you to proceed with the drop. And Renegade, I'm expecting this deployment to be a difficult one. Bring your best, and may the gods grant you victory. We will all be counting on your success. You heard the lady, Marcus. Best get to it. Meyer, I'm going to go ahead and trust that you've got this. Do me a solid and try not to scrape the leopard's paint on your way down. Yeah, XO, I'll, uh, I'll do my best. <laughs> All right, we got this. Uh, this looks like a good, this looks like a good Lance layout. Let's do it. Perfect. And while this is loading, I am going to be right back. I'm just going to grab some water. I'll be back in like a minute or two. <laughs> I know you want some water, you little asshole. I know I love you too. Hello. Uh, sorry, I'm back. I'm just fighting a cat at the moment. She's adorable, and I don't have resistance to this kind of cuteness. Hello, cat. Uh, I know, cat. Uh, I know. I know, cat. I know, cat. Hello, cat. Hi, Cleo. All right. So... Begin the mission here. Command interface While I initiated. pet the cat. That's one of the beautiful parts about having a turn-based game. I could pet the cat. <laughs> I could pet the cat and play at the same time here. All right. Commander, I'm glad you made it. Navigating Panzer's debris field unassisted is no small feat, even for a ship as small as a leopard. Ms. Meyer is to be commended for her skill. Hi. Okay. I, I know. I know. I know. I know. Okay. No sweat, Lady Rano. Just don't ask me to do it again. Okay. 
Oh, that is a terrible place for you to be, Cat. I am going to run over your paws there, kitty kitty. Kitty. Really? Really, Cat? Okay. I'll... I'll... I'll be careful. <laughs> Fine. You won't have to. Restoration strike teams have already joined forces with the second Decimus Fusiliers to engage the enemy on multiple fronts. We have them at a disadvantage, but if they manage to bring in fort reinforcements, we're going to be in trouble. Okay, I was thirstier than I thought. I actually had to bring in bottled water because I know my cat. I just brought up fresh water in a cup. And I know, I know my cat. She's going to jump up here and she's going to drink out of it any second now. Renegade, I need you to engage the enemy. Locate the dropship control center and destroy it. Without ground support, their ships won't be able to navigate the debris field. The Directorate's troops on the surface will be cut off and our combined forces will sweep them away. And so, yeah, this is what I need to, this is what we need to destroy. We destroy this. That's our, that's our win condition. I'm sorry to interrupt Lady Arano, but we've just intercepted a transmission from the ADV Coronach. Kor they're requesting navigational aid. It sounds like they're on their way down. If that ship lands, our bid for the system fails, Renegade. I need you to take that control center out before the Coronach touches down. The second can help with that. We have a leopard full of engineers heading your way, Commander. I'll need you to clear us a path to the spaceport's security headquarters. Take out their vehicles and make us some breathing room, and we'll turn their turret defenses against them. All right, Lieutenant Andrus, uh, you got a fucking deal. That's the plan then. We'll use the turrets to cover your approach. As soon as we have the turrets under control, the director will, will begin firing on them. Use that as a distraction or engage the enemy to protect them. It's your call either way. We are going to engage the enemy to protect those turrets. Because those turrets f fighting on our side make this whole mission so much easier. Good hunting, Commander. You bring down the control center and we'll handle the rest. Good luck. Ah, oh boy, this mission. Okay, can, can Seraph play this and maneuver around my cat? Okay, so we're going to jump. Um, I think we're going to jump here and we will probably already find an enemy. Yep, we're going to find four of them. <laughs> That did not take long. We're going to move here. You betcha. Yeah, take go to cover. Go to cover for sure. Uh same with you, Behemoth. Uh no, we're going to have you sprint then. Yep. You sprint. Acknowledged. Yeah, you can stay up here, buddy. Uh Nah, you could just go over here. That's fine. Copy that. Okay. So we're invading a spaceport and we need to take out that uh, that communications array. Well, we need to trade uh, rather the dropship control center. Yeah, let's reserve. So uh, remember one of those previous missions when uh, we were just minding our own business, trying to make some sea bills, taking out relatively early easy vehicles light things things that really shouldn't be much of a problem and then all of a sudden an SRM carrier showed up and ruined our day there's gonna be more of that here Yeah, they're hitting more than I thought. Maybe I should have tried to advance a little more than that, but... Ah, good. She moved. Okay. Now I can actually get into the desk and I don't have to be stretching or do any kind of awkward shit. Now then. Jump. Let's go... Yeah, they're gonna jump here.
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Fuck the SRM carrier. Fuck this motherfucker. <laughs> God damn. I still remember the first time playing this, and I didn't know how bad that was going to be. What's up, boss? I had no, no ungodly idea. I just want to point out how many SRM sixes this mother effer has. <laughs> I mean, look at this shit. It will just fire SRMs all day long. Uh, so yeah. We're, we're going to fire all our LRMs at this and uh, we're going to try to take out this SRM carrier right away. Come on. Come on. Oh my God, I didn't destroy that thing. You got to be kidding me. How is it not dead? You son of a bitch. All right, fine. Waiting for order. Uh, God damn it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> God damn it. All right, I really don't like the idea of, well, if I go over here. All right, maybe the two AC2s here. All right. All right, that's what we're gonna do. I'm, I'm gonna go over there out. and try to shoot that SRM carrier with those two. Striker. I don't think it really matters much either way. I'd rather take out the bulldog though. Uh, so let's try and shoot the bulldog and hope we take it out. And then we'll shoot our auto cannons at the SRM carrier. Line them up and I'll shoot them down, Commander. All right, so hopefully we're doing damage to one location here. Hopefully it's broadside. There we go, good, okay. Both SRM carriers are out of, out of commission now. That was critical. <laughs> that was absolutely fucking essential to get those assholes out of play um you know what we're going to hmm yeah even though i don't like being right next to each other uh i do like the idea of being in cover even though we're we're inviting ourselves to a stray shot it's still better to be in cover and plus the shooting lanes aren't really all that great It does 60 damage. But it still won't do, it won't get through that, so. Yeah. Yeah, hit it with everything. Should take it out, but. Good, okay. Vehicle trashed. Commander, I'm seeing director SRM carriers on radar. Recommend engaging them at long range. They'll take you apart if you let them get close. Yes. Yes, Kamea. They will. But this is actually really cool that she warns you. So even if you're a first time player, you, you at least have somewhat of a heads up. Yes, SRM carriers are terrible. Anytime I ever see an SRM carrier, it's what I destroy first. Second to that, Inferno carriers. Those things are also bloody awful. Orders. Um, oh, I don't have enough movement to crush them, huh? Well, I could go here and shoot at that thing. Why don't I do that and see see what goes here? Let's see. Let's see how you like this. Yeah, that's not great. All right. I hear ya. Let's uh let's advance. Don't need to tell advance. me twice. Still have high ground, so that's good. Uh, still need to do a shit ton of damage to this thing. Yeah, I don't feel like uh, splitting splitting my fire is a good idea. Good, we got it. Still, just too many too many locations we could have hit with it. Feel bad about shooting the little guys. And don't they could hurt you, glitch. Receiving you. They absolutely can and will hurt you. Um, yeah, I'd rather just go and destroy it before it even gets a chance to move. How many... 
Yeah, let's not fuck around. I don't think I would run out of LRMs, but I'll worry about that later. Better just to destroy it and not fuck around. Perfect. Nicely done, Commander. Lieutenant Andrus, your approach to the security HQ is clear. Roger that, Lady Arano. We'll have their turrets under friendly control in just a moment. Engage the forces guarding that control center, Renegade. Let's make these turrets count. Perfect. I still get to go. And I am going to jump. I am going to jump over here. Because if I can sensor lock one of them, I think... Yeah, I can't sensor lock any of them yet. But as we can proceed down, it's important we able, we're able to engage them pretty quickly after these turrets come up. But well, let's brace for now. Perfect. Good. Ignore the turrets and concentrate your, your fire on those battle mechs. We must protect the control center. If our reinforcements can't land, we're all dead. And he's right. Uh, now fight for the directorate. But he fucks up uh, by telling them to ignore the turrets now. I've never had them ignore the turrets that fast. That is crazy that they ignored the turrets that fast. Probably because I jumped. Um, so this is awesome. This is already a great development. Unlike the first campaign mission where things started to go bad because I went a different way than, uh, than last time. I'm thinking this is going to be good. I actually like the idea of just hovering up here and letting them kind of start to... Because what they're probably going to do is they're going to try to funnel up and kind of assault us. The road is now the only way in. I think I like the idea of just kind of patrolling the high ground here and just uh, using this as a choke point to just keep blowing them away as they continue to mow in here. And the turrets should really help things out. Now, one thing in particular that is of great concern, this fucker, this hunchback right here, the fucker with the AC-20, this mech can absolutely hurt us if we let it. So we need to, uh, we need to take that thing out as soon as possible. Waiting on you, Commander. Uh, but, so this is good. What I may do is I may just shoot you at the AC-2 here. And, uh, from here. In fact, I think that's what I'm going to do. Even on though it's way. guarded. Yeah, it's guarded, but I could shoot at it. Roger that. Firing on target. Yeah. Hey, Kara! Greetings, buddy! Don't change, Kara! Don't change! <laughs> How you doing, brother? Yeah, I'm really glad I got water a little bit ago. You caught us on a uh, campaign mission here. We are, uh... We are currently tasked... Let's see, can I hit that thing? Oh, uh, see, this would have been good to have the AC-5 for. Um, wow. All right, well, I guess we'll just advance. You know what? We'll just, we'll advance here. That's fine. Yeah. Okay, fine. I guess we're going to take the 75% of our missiles hitting, and we'll go with that. Fine. Roger. <laughs> Campaign to bring the pain. Uh, I'm doing good. Uh, I continue to feel better. Um, so I'm obviously still, still dealing with a little bit of neck stiffness, but it's getting better, you know, day by day. Um, just continuing to work. Living the dream, man. <laughs> Things are good. Yeah, the Hunchback is a, uh, is a dangerous mech, man. <laughs> it's only a medium mech, but it hits... It hits like a, uh, a heavy mech, and crazily enough, it, uh, damn, I, I can't, uh, let's see, any way I can, I don't think I can, I could at least hit the panther. Mm. Well, all right, I guess we'll go after the centurion. Let's target the centurion. Uh, but yeah, the Hunchback is a, uh, I'll take the pen is mightier for 500 XP. <laughs> so when I, uh, I mean, hopefully if I get to affiliate, I was actually thinking of using XP as my uh, channel point um, thing. Uh, what do you think, Kara? Firing on target. I mean, I'm going to need to come up with something. 
And I don't have anything like MOA heads like uh, Freakbot uses. Yeah, we're really messing up that Centurion now. <laughs> uh, let's see. I think I like the idea. I do like the idea of getting at least a few evasion pips going here. I guess the question is, yeah, let's do that. And here's what also I'm going to do. Since we've already maxed out our, uh, mine, yeah, I like KOs. KOs are cool. Uh, I didn't even realize that's what he had. <laughs> but hey, okay, it's cool. I, I, I thought so. So we're going to do Vigilance because our, uh, our resolve is already maxed anyway. Um, but what it's going to do is it's going to give us cover, essentially cover, even though we're out in the open field. And since we're in front, that's the last thing I want is to be completely, uh, getting my ass kicked up here. Uh, I don't think I'm going to burn the precision strike on it. I'm just going to open fire on this Centurion with this. I think it's going to have a shit day with just that. Perfect. And we knocked it down. Beautiful. Yeah, Kai was streaming earlier. I was uh, chatting with him. He's playing Trails of uh, Trails from Zero again. Uh, those are great games. I suspect he'll be on for a while. Well, we might raid out to, to him depending on how late we're on. Yes. And now this, these uh, turrets are just going to completely fuck up all these mechs. And they're going to ignore them. So we're going to have... Honestly, this mission... Night, knock on... Yeah, he's an all-nighter gamer. Yeah, that guy is crazy up late. <laughs> he's a cool dude. I'm glad you uh, you, you pointed out to me to uh, uh, kind of uh, clued me into his channel. He's a cool dude. It's nice getting to know people on Twitch uh, and, you know, learning personalities and getting to know people and, you know, finding finding gamers and meeting people that you would never, never meet in the daily walks of life. Because he's out in, like, Oklahoma or something, right? Like, he's nowhere near Florida. Well, also Maxi and Ghosty and everything else. Yeah, good. he does have good taste in music. He's going to uh, Death Clock and, uh, and uh, Dragon Force, kind of like what we were talking about doing. Ultimately, I wouldn't have been able to go. I think my neck had exploded by that point. But yeah, he does. He does have solid choice in music. Hell yeah. I love the music of these campaign missions. Dun, dun. <laughs> what can I do for you? So let's see. I think we advance. Yeah, I think we advance. Let's uh -huh. have Glitch try to take out this Centurion here as we try to, uh, I mean, we don't have to take the spaceport. We just have to destroy the drop dropship control strike. center. So once upon a time, <laughs> yeah, that Centurion's going to have a really like bad time. The hunchback, though, scares the shit out of me. We need to start shooting at that hunchback immediately. Uh, yeah, I'm just a Twitch stray. <laughs> the crowd was cringe. Do I even want to know? Was this like going when I went to Flogging Molly and there were moshers? Which, by the way, I usually don't like to ever do any kind of kink shame or, uh, you know, judge other people. But that aside, because, you know, what, whatever floats your boat, right? I'm a big fan of not not shitting in people's cornflakes and not uh, uh, I'm not yucking others, John, and all. Right, 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 Kara. But in all seriousness, that disclaimer aside, what, what fuck nuts mosh at a flogging Molly concert? Like seriously, who the fuck does that? Oh my god! I just want to go and chill out and listen to some cool flogging Molly, and you get a bunch of idiots moshing. It's like this isn't moshing music. What the fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> so in in the case of those moshers, yes, I'm making an exception because that was asinine. <laughs> now, when I went to um with Freakbot to um to Guar, I expected them to mosh, as he is very fond of saying. I never had so much fun getting my ass kicked, and it was glorious. <laughs> Waiting for orders. And it was too. It was it was awesome. It was awesome. Uh, yeah, I'm not liking not liking this. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go to cover here. Coordinates 
Because it looks like these mechs actually are going to try to come up here. So we may as well take cover. And let's do it. Let's try and take out the Centurion here. Ah, oh, you missed with the AC-10, Behemoth. Yeah, if she'd hit with the AC-10, I think we kill it. Oh, well. Oh, and now the Centurion gets to go. Lame. Dog. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Who would bring a dog to a concert like that? That's... No. No, 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 no. That is terrible. I really, I feel by. awful for that dog too. That is mean, man. No, 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 no. Nobody should ever bring, nobody should ever bring a dog to a concert like that. No, 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 no. That's, that's terrible. Oh, oh, that poor dog. Oh my God. Oh my God. Got it. Holy shit. Jeez, I wasn't even there and I feel bad for that dog. Oh. Poor doggy. Let's, let's fire on that hunchback. That is absolutely our priority. Yeah, we need we need to we need to end that hunchback. As soon as we can. Good, the turrets are firing at the trebuchet. They're really fucking up that trebuchet. <laughs> good, good, good. He was so mad, yeah. Huh, my bot is texting as me. It makes it look like I typed that. Huh. Interesting. All right, so if I... All right, well, I can't... Oh, well, I can't do it anyway, so... Let's just vigilance you again. Because things are going to... Uh, things are going to do that anyway. Let's see... If I go here, yeah, I may as well do this. At least I'll have two evasion pips. And I'll be guarded. And then I'll just jump back. And what I'll do is I'll just jump back and forth. Of course, the question is, considering the Centurion is losing its ability to even do damage, I'm... Uh, nah, let's, let's fire on the Centurion and let's just try to kill it here. There we go. Good. Killed the Centurion. Enemy mech destroyed. Perfect. Good, good. And now our turrets get to go. Of course, not that our turrets are any good, but whatever. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Really fucking up that trebuchet now. I love that the turrets are, t are totally picking on it. <laughs> I have obviously no control over the turret. Oh my god! <laughs> Jesus! Man, my uh, turret allies have no chill whatsoever. Holy shit, this is awesome. <laughs> so normally, the uh, directorate at least gets a chance to destroy half the turrets by the time I get down here. Um... Yeah, you fired at the victor. Couldn't even hit me. Uh, holy shit. Yeah, this is not going to go well for the directorate. So, so far, this is as good as we could have possibly expected this mission to possibly go. Um, and I am inclined. Yeah, I'm actually inclined to advance a little. I don't want to advance a lot because I don't want these mechs to be... Uh, in the front line. I want this one, the one that's guarded and braced, to be that. But we will take pot shots at this Tell hunchback from here. Cute. Perfect. We'll do a little bit more damage. It also does more stability damage, which is what we want. I don't know if I like the fact that the stream elements bot makes it look exactly like me. I think I would have preferred it if it went stream elements, enjoying the stream, blah, blah, blah. But, meh. Good to go. I guess I'll live. Let's see. Do I want to advance more? Oh, if I go here, I'm a little closer and they can't shoot at me anyway. Roger that. Yeah, I guess. 
Wow, it just guarded. <laughs> Little bastard. That's okay. Fire. We're gonna make life a little easier for Decker. With the LRM 40. Decker time. Waiting for orders. Yep. Yep. Fire. Acknowledged. <laughs> man, that never gets old. That's a lot of missiles, man. Ooh. And we just got an AC-20 crit. Yeah, the Hunchback is by far the most dangerous thing on the field. Absolutely by far. Yeah, we're going to do Vigilance again. Uh, the question is, ooh, I could do that. Yeah, because we do need to advance. We only have 10 rounds to get to this dropship control center and destroy it. So we don't want to dawdle too much. I do want to advance. So let's let's jump. Let's jump. Yes. Only because it's a hunchback. And we absolutely need to destroy this thing if we can do it. Uh... Mm. All right, yeah, let's target the AC-20 pod that's also taking damage. All, All right. Come on. We didn't destroy the freaking pod. But at least we blew off its arm. Its arm. Made life a little easier. And we're sensor locking it. So we're taking away a lot of its evasion. Good, 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 good. Yep, do damage to the panther. Excellent. Perfect. <laughs> Man, these guys are just getting their asses kicked. There we go. Oh, ho, ho, really fucking up that mech now. There we go. Did you destroy that torso now? Yeah, it's even better. Perfect. Good job. Okay. So the trebuchet is destroyed. The hunchback is destroyed. Those are the two mechs that absolutely will uh, just ruin you. Uh, on this mission. So at this point, the worst is over. It's We're not out of the woods yet because the remaining mechs can, can, can hurt us. You? I mean, mechs by, by their nature can hurt you, but um, yes. Okay, we'll advance here and we'll shoot at the Jenner. But now we could do our, our big push to the dropship control center. Command is going to start yelling at us in a couple of turns. I mean, rightfully slow. We're, we're nine rounds away from them losing the war. I can understand her getting a little anxious. <laughs> but still, I, I've never had this mission go this smoothly, which tells me the next campaign mission we do is going to be a fucking shit show. Although, Weldry was a shit show. Weldry went as poorly as we could have expected it to go. So maybe this is the game making it up for us. The dragon is a nice mech. Let's see, Decker. Orders? Let's see. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Heading out. We'll advance here, and we will unload a shit ton of LRMs into you. Taking the shot. <laughs> Man, these poor bastards, they're getting attacked, and they don't even see who's attacking them. Critical hit, Commander. I would say blew off a, lo a leg and a torso. At this point, I'm not even... I don't even think I'm going to do vigilance here, but I am going to advance. Yeah, a lot of that heat that we generated was from the jump jets. That's the only other problem with jump jets is... Actually... Yeah, let's not play games with it. Oh, except when you miss. That's all right. The turrets should kill it. Maybe the turrets will finish it off. They hit. Nice job, guys. All right, doing some nice damage to the panther and doing damage to the side that has the PPC. We definitely like that. Nice shot. Okay, good. Tells me I wasn't all that far away from destroying it anyway. <laughs> I, 
God. That poor panther. Wow, that is not a good plan, panther. Waiting on you, commander. Oh, fine. Yeah, I'll shoot you from over here. Uh. Moving out. Let's see. Precision strike. The nice part about precision strike is it also does lower the target's next initiative. So especially if you're doing things in concert, like. If you have somebody do precision strike against a target and you have somebody else do vigilance, that's a two initiative swing versus, you know, four one target versus another target. Uh, for everybody else, it's only one, but for at least those two, not too bad. Uh, yeah, why not? Let's go for the leg. When I shoot you, you'll take it and like it, Commander. We'll advance, shoot you with some LRMs, do some more stability damage. Make you hate your life a little more. And again, for, an, for the AI, rarely does the head hit even matter. Although it is nice when we can incapacitate a pilot and don't have to do as much damage to the mech, but... Very rare that, wow, nothing's even in range. Fine, sprint. All in ass. Sensor lock. I don't even think I can fire. So, sprint. Let's try and get up to that command center. Because the victor can just jump up there, too. That's enough of the panther. <laughs> so this is how this mission goes when uh, I have all my turrets. <laughs> Jesus. Well, this is, a, this is way fucking easier than... Uh, not having any turrets. Yep. And that dropship is getting close. I'd recommend that you prioritize targeting the control center, Commander. I hear ya. Got it. We got seven rounds. We're good. Uh huh. Especially with the turrets. This dragon is in for a, uh, up, a bad boss? time. Heading out. Even with it, um, braced. Roger that. Little LRM 10 volley. Little by little. <laughs> I, I don't know what you're expecting there, dragon. Uh, I mean, if that's what you're going to do, you may as well just punch out, bro. Oh, I'm still, I must be just ever so slightly out of range. All right, fine. I love the sight Confirmed. of this fucking missile boat archer sprinting from its position on high and just running for two fucking straight rounds. <laughs> that is hilarious to me. Um, I mean, I jumped pretty good, but I think I'm better off sprinting. Sprint. Now, it's possible that the dragon tries to take a shot at me, but I don't think so. I think it's going to, uh, I think it's just, well, I think it's going to sit there and just get its ass kicked. <laughs> Never mind. Correction. The dragon may not even get to go. That's a lot of PPC bolts that the fucker's just absorbing, man. Waiting for order. That is brutal. Oh, I can't even shoot at it from over here. Interesting. So, there's Behemoth. All right, well, I can shoot at it from here. So fine, I guess that's what we'll do. Moving out. Have her go there, and we'll just have you shoot at it from there. I guess any lower than that, and I... Oh, yeah, this is in the way. Got fine. it. 
for a little bit helps. Standing by. Fortunately, I don't have that issue. I can just fire missiles over that building. And Decker's gonna have the same. Hmm. Gonna have the same situation here. Taking the Go. Shot. Open fire. What's it gonna do? Ah, it's gonna actually come out and try to do something. Wow, there you go. I think it missed me. But I'm not really Good sure. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, or. Wow, okay. That's terrible. Oh, uh, here. 60. Wow, okay. Either way, kind of shitty, uh, kind of shitty here. I think I'd rather just get closer to it. On it. Yeah, sure. Shoot the leg. Why not? Let's knock it down. <laughs> Solid connection on that one. <laughs> Blew off the leg, the torso, the arm. I love that fucking archer, man. <laughs> oh my god, that was awesome. Alright. Okay. So, yes. Let's jump up here. And I think we try to take out the dragon, because we got six rounds. Yeah. And the dragon. Good. Nothing else to do. Observe. Affirmative. Observe. Got it. And goodbye, control center. Well done, Commander. Ms. Meyer, are you inbound? Roger that, Lady Arano. I'm marking an ALZ for your on your screen, Commander. Proceed to the designated coordinates for evac. Not that we need them. We destroyed the entire garrison. <laughs> like we. We obliterated the fucking garrison. <laughs> That's done it. All communication between the spaceport and the directorate's reinforcement fleet just went down. Ground control, this is the Koronok. We've lost you. Loud clanging. Nav support is offline. Where are the damn tugs? <laughs> now, alarm klaxon begins to blare. Without grant support, their dropships won't be able to make planet fall. They'll be torn to pieces if they try. Congratulations, Renegade. Panzer is as good as ours. And we have you to thank for it. Long live House Decimus, and long live the Arana Restoration. All targets eliminated. Sit tight and I can collect you from where you're at right now. Mission successful. Okay. That was, uh... That was awesome. <laughs> uh, that is a textbook de decimation of, uh, of the Spaceport and the Dropship Command Center. And we got nearly 2 million for it. That is beautiful. And now that I'm realizing it, I took one hit. Two of my mechs didn't take any damage. And two mechs got a little bit of a nick. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. The turrets actually got a bunch of the kills. Suits me just fine. But well, that's okay. That was uh, awesome. Uh, let's complete a trebuchet. Right, the trebuchet got disabled because its legs got blown off. Uh, let's see. Are there any? It's a lot of SRM6s, man. Okay, no lost tech, so let's just go with either a hunchback or... Uh, maybe I should just go for that dragon since it's the heaviest. We'll go with that dragon since it's the heaviest. And then we'll sell those, right? <laughs> Hell yeah! Ah, <laughs> uh, very nice. So on one of those missions where I played this, and I went in kind of with that starting group, so I was in a blackjack. We had uh, 
the Shadowhawk, the Vindicator, and the Spider doing this mission, which is obviously a lot harder to do because your mechs aren't as good and your pilots aren't as good. I realized very early on when the vehicle started trashing me that I was going to be in for a hurt. So at that point, I'm like, how am I going to fight all these fucking mechs and all these turrets and all this other crazy bullshit? Uh, and so what I did was, at the time I had Decker and the spider, and I just had him jump off the cliffside, kind of behind all those other dropships around the map. So while we're skirmishing in the high ground and we kind of are just kind of bogging things down there, I snuck Decker and the spider over and then had the spider jump on top of the command center and had him destroy the command center. Um, and at that point we went to the OZ, but, uh, yeah, that was, this was a lot easier. <laughs> You've done it, Renegade. Thanks to your efforts, the Restoration Army has broken the Directorate's hold on Panzer. Lord Pierre, Pierre Louis Decimus has already pledged his house and his systems to my service. The Restoration is growing, just as we'd hoped it would. And with his support, you gain territory, soldiers, and a bolstered supply chain. Not a bad deal for you, Lady Arano. Or for House Decimus, the Directorate took a scorched earth approach to Panzer's farmland. Without our ongoing support, the people here would starve. I am not my uncle, Darius. The restoration gives as much as it takes. <laughs> I love some of the options. Well, it's not like you have much choice. Letting him starve would be terrible PR. I totally read that in fucking Jane from Firefly's voice. <laughs> uh, that's commendable, Lady Arano, but it may not be sustainable. I'm fully aware that war has a price, Renegade, and I expect that price to escalate. But for now, I could afford to help these people, and so I will. And I will... Ow. And to hell with the cost. Sorry, I had a eyelash. Ow. I have an eye... I still have an eyelash. Ow. Ow, motherfucker. And it's fighting back. <laughs> Ow. Bastard. There it is. Ow. Got it. Oh, fuck, that hurt. Oof. Ah. <laughs> Uh watch Kara clips that. <laughs> Seraph versus <laughs> I can just picture the title now, oh god. <laughs> Eyelash one, Seraph zero. <laughs> it's a victory to be sure, but we're still a long way from Coromadir, and Director Espinosa has only just begun to marshal his forces. Things are going to get a lot more difficult as we push forward towards Smithen. The Directorate's military capabilities appear to be way out of line with our initial estimates. Some of them have gained access to weapons and battle mechs that are totally foreign to the Oregon Reach. Where do you think all this hardware is coming from? We don't know. House Espinosa has always had contacts in the inner sphere. Yeah, I know, right? I know. I should. The second I said it, I'm like, why? Why? Like, why? No, take those words and put them back in my mouth. <laughs> oh, man. So as House Espinosa has always had contacts in the inner sphere, Lady Victoria's personal battle mech is a prototype model it's almost impossible to find outside of the Draconis Combine. But this radical new military buildup is something else entirely. Wherever these weapons are coming from, it's a recent development and a troubling one. Hey, Lord Madeira, I'm uh, sorry to interrupt, but there's something here you may want to see. Actually, you may all want to see this. I found something strange on the Nargo Argo's nav computer. I'm going to need some clarification on that, Doctor. <laughs> well, I appear to have stumbled onto an encrypted data archive. Somebody hid it away in the Argo's secondary storage drive. That's just my best guess, mind you. Starleak era encryption software isn't really my area of expertise. My father spent years... Hmm. Trying to figure out how to get the Argo back to Oregon space in one piece. He was obsessed with this ship. He felt that it was important somehow. And now, this. I want that archive open, Dr. Moran. I need to know what's inside. With all due respect, Lady Arano, whatever is on that drive was sealed away for a reason. I've heard enough stories about lost tech treasure hunting to know that it's a bad idea. So why don't we just leave well enough alone? Because this archive could contain something of value. And because, as I previously mentioned, I have a personal connection with this ship. I believe that this discovery is meant to lead us somewhere, and I intend to follow it. Uh, no, 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 no. It's a Star League data archive. Of course we should try to open it. Mm. Lady Arano is our client, Meyer. If she wants to check this thing out, then that's what we're going to do. 
That's what I want, yes. And thankfully, we can follow this lead and pursue our campaign against the Directorate at the same time. The liberation of House Carosis on Smith and is already the Restoration's next objective. And Lord Simon Carosis was my father's chief technologist. Securing the help we need will cost us nothing that we weren't already planning to pay. Perhaps this is all just a coincidence, Ms. Meyer, but I can't help seeing the hand of fate at work here. Mastiff taught me to pay heed to my intuition, and that's what I intend to do. Tell me a lore more about Lord Carosis. He's a hard man who doesn't scuffer fools gladly. That said, he's also quite brilliant and noble with the mind of a scholar. His adult children, Otto and Lena, were much the same. Difficult at times, to be sure, but fierce allies to Lady Aran or House Arano. Why do you think this Lord Carosis will be able to open our archive? Because he knows Lost Tech better than anyone in the Reach. In the days of my father's reign, whenever scraps of foreign technology were discovered in the Reach, they'd be taken to Smithen for cataloging and study. There are answers to be found. We'll find them with him. That's the plan, then. After we liberate Smithen, we'll have an audience with Lord Carosis. Yes, Renegade, and shortly thereafter, we'll see if my father's intuition about the Argo was justified. As before, I will contact you when we're ready to move on Smithen. For now, I'll take my leave of you. I have nobles to placate and an army to rally. And you have your own contracts to pursue, I'm sure. Yes, we do, Lady Arano. We're keeping busy, just as you asked us to. You all heard her. We've all got some time before the next leg of the Restoration's offensive, and our client wants us to make the most of it. Time is money, so let's get back to work. So, Lady Arano's people scoured the spaceport and found a jackpot, Commander. Decommissioned griffins. Lots of them. They'll never get them working with the repair facilities they've got, but between my team and the Argos Mech Bay, I think we might. You can find them in a shop here in Panzer. Basically what that means is we have an infinite supply of uh, Griffin parts we could buy here. So if we were having trouble putting together better mechs by this point, we could put together Griffins. And a Griffin is a medium, it's a, at least in my opinion, is one of the better medium mechs. It's got jump jets. The standard one has a PPC so it could fire at long range. It's got LRMs. Um, it's, it's not bad. Um, so anyway, we put together a trebuchet, which is basically a cat. Uh, it's a medium mech version of the catapult. It's a missile boat. Trebuchets are good. They overheat, but um, yeah. However, trench buckets, as they're known for running hot, and don't have much in the way of protection. Uh, yeah, we put together a Jenner. So we're going to send the trebuchet to storage, and we're going to send that Jenner to storage. But the trebuchet early on is a really nice mech. If we hadn't gotten the archer... If we had picked up a trebuchet instead, we would have used that trebuchet. They're they're good mechs. So let's go to the store. And now let's see if we can have some fun here. Yeah, see, everywhere you go, you can always put together an archer, it seems. Uh, we still don't have any... Ooh, let's take a look. Yeah, melee stability damage. That's not great. Stability damage. Plus one melee hit. Okay. Now we're fucking talking. That is a nice gyro. Uh, shit. I don't have enough for that. But... Okay, we might, we might be spending money on this. Because what that does, the, so the, every mech comes with a gyro. But this improved one, uh, the gyroscope, um, it basically counteracts the, it, well, I'll just read it. Gyros counteract the massive amounts of momentum generated from mech engines and allow for precision maneuvering uh, and recovery from stability impacting attacks. All mechs come equipped with a stock gyroscope, but which could be upgraded for improved performance. And in the tabletop version of Battletech, typically one of the critical hits in the center torso is the gyro. And if your gyro gets hit, you've got penalties to move and everything else. Obviously this game didn't get so complicated with that. You can't get gyro critical hits, thank God. Um, but they do at least allow you to upgrade the gyro, which is not an option in tabletop battle mech. But this improved gyro gives you plus two hit defense which is almost the same as having a permanent two evasion on top of everything else. It's it's awesome. Uh, so yeah, anytime you can ever make it more difficult for fuckers to hit you, uh, we're we're gonna take that. So yes, I am definitely going to take the plus two hit defense for sure. Uh, even though that took a chunk of money, but that will make uh, any mech we put that in immensely more survivable. Let's take a look at our contracts and let's see what we've got. Ooh, we got good ones here. Uh, let's see. Hmm. We've got to take the bait. 
Yeah, I like this take the bait one. I think we're going to do take the bait. We're going to take the bait and we're going to do clean out the mercs here. Uh, this is, this is going to be good. Perfect. 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 Okay. Yeah, almost certainly bait for a trap. Mm, not great money, but we'll take it. With bonuses, we should get over 300,000. And we'll pick up some mech salvage. We'll do it. We will do it. So what we want to do here is we're going to do a couple of more missions. Fuck, I should have spent the XP I just got. That's all right. We'll do this mission and then we'll check the barracks and we will upgrade our pilots. Upgrading pilots are good. Damn it. I just finished all of my water. Although Cleo did not drink the water I brought up here, so I'm going to drink her water. Aha. Uh, yeah, I'm not comfortable with how little information we have about the enemy forces, Commander. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're going to set off a trap on purpose. <laughs> uh, I think I can live with that. Ugh. All right. We're in the area where the hostile mech was sighted. Oof. Yeah, I definitely need a new chair. I definitely, definitely need a new chair. Ugh. Oof. All right. We're, we're going to get there. Okay. Move up. Try to flush it out. Let's see what sort of trap this is. Stay alert, Commander. Oliveira out. All right. So we've got mech up there. It will probably have escorts, and it's probably going to have fucking reinforcements. Almost always, these end up being nine. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Shit. <laughs> I should have muted the mic. Damn. Uh, all right. Let's go this way. Actually, let's jump. Yeah, we're going to jump. Engaging jump jets. Okay. We're going to go through the woods here. For sure. Affirmative. Yeah, we'll just go that far. On my way. We're definitely going around this way. Because with these mountains here, no surprises are going to just show up from this direction. The surprises will show up from this direction. Uh, uh, at least if I'm reading this map correctly. God, I hope... Fucking oh, shit. Maybe the surprises will come up. Maybe I should go down and up if I can. You know, maybe I should do that. Yeah, because if surprises do show up over here, they'll have high ground and then I'm caught in a crossfire. Yeah, we're doing that. Let's let's go back over this way because I should be able to go up this. Yeah, I fucked up. Fortunately, I realized I fucked up really quick. Moving to position. All right, new plan. On it. We're gonna we're gonna set off a, a trap on purpose, but at the same time, we're not we're not gonna do so stupidly. At least we're gonna try not to do so stupidly. Oh, we're gonna try to be smart about this. Moving out. Got it. Yeah, with this game, it definitely pays. Even if things don't work out, <laughs> it definitely pays to try to think things through. And even if this is just Seraph being paranoid, I'll feel happier Got it. advancing with high ground. Location confirmed. On my way. And if we suddenly find a bunch of mechs camped out in the woods up here, I'll be really glad I did this. Yeah, I never I never want to underestimate the enemy op for ever. This this should be fine. Copy that. Roger. Yeah, Decker's piloting skill definitely comes in handy. He's got a heavier mech. It's got worse maneuverability than these, and yet he still moves better. 
eventually all my pilots will be able to do that. Uh, all right, so let's... Wow, yeah. I probably don't want to go get overextended here. So let's just... Let's just advance, nice and slow. Don't need to tell me twice. On my way. Let's keep him in the I back. Let's keep him in back. That's that's gonna be good. Oof. All right, this should be good. Slow and steady here. All right, so if I can get to that one anyway, let's just jump to that one. Coordinates received. Suits me just fine. Roger that. Location confirmed. Heads up, Commander. You've got hostile up. contacts inbound. Look at that. Enemy Motherfucker, I was right. I was fucking right. God damn it. Well, now I'm really glad I went up this way. Even though it's a light lance, but still, that could have been trouble, depending on their weapon loadouts and what whatever mechs these are. Uh, ooh, that was visible for just a second. Fuck. Uh, yeah, let's reserve. Let's just reserve. Okay, well that suits me just fine. Perfect. Orders. Wonder what I should be doing here. Let's. Good to go. Yeah. All right. So you're gonna have to do that anyway. Command. All right. Let's advance. I guess we'll shoot at this and we'll see what happens. On my way. Not great. Locust 1M. All right. Well, let's fire at it. All right. Well, <laughs> hello. All right. <laughs> <laughs> one shot, one kill. Fucking A, man. Uh, let's see. I could either go here or I could go here. On one hand, I do like the idea of kind of trying to set up crossfires here. Uh, yeah, I should still be doing good. Plus, I'll be shooting at its side. Fucking spider. Ugh. Ooh, but I could precision strike. Nice. Yeah, let's make it more like yeah, I hit. Oh, ho, ho. really fucked up that spider. You had a really bad day. All right. Uh, what can I do for you? Let's see. Wow, that is terrible. All right, fine. You let's shoot you. Yeah, I'm not shooting that. Let's try. There we go. Nice shot, Glitch. Bang, you're dead. Okay, so, um... Commander? This is going well. <laughs> God aye, damn. Aye. <laughs> yeah, clearly these uh, reinforcements didn't expect me to come from this direction. Ready for orders. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Okay, well, if I come here, I can at least target it. So, fine. Let's at least run up there and then everybody else can shoot at it. Perfect. Good. And there's our, there's our assassination target. Oh, you hit with one of those. That's fine. Waiting on you, Commander. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna worry about the javelin and get closer. We're gonna let the centurion get a little closer, so we can put a little bit more of a hurting on it. I think I'm gonna go with that. Mm. Yeah, let's rule out that evasion pip. All right, hit with two of them. I'll take it. Yes, Commander. 
I think so. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Heading out. Yes, we will advance and we will shoot that javelin from the side. Ah, uh, yes. Please and thank you. Roger that. This javelin may not survive this even with all of that. Oh, wow, it did survive it. My God, okay. I was like taking half damage. It may not survive that, but it did. That's fine. Yeah, sure. The problem is, if I shoot the AC-20, you could shoot the AC-20 a couple of times, but um, the recoil will add successive penalties. So sometimes you want to toggle the AC-20 off so you have a better chance to hit. Like right now, it's not too bad of a chance to hit. I do want to hit the Centurion with that AC-20. So I am only going to fire with these. I'm going to let the AC-20 rest because I need to hit the Centurion with that AC-20. I'm still going to do some... I'm still going to do some damage to it. <laughs> Is that Javelin running? Oh my god, the Javelin's running! <laughs> Waiting for That's order. fucking hilarious. Wow. Uh, Alright, well, I will... Fine, I'll just go at it from this direction and we'll just shoot the Centurion. Um, and let's hope I can do enough damage to the fucker. We're gonna- we're gonna start this. Confirmed. We have to do a lot of damage really quick. Wait. Oh, is this part of the, uh, this isn't the assassination target. This is part of the enemy units. Well, shit. Oh, fine. Alright, fine. <laughs> wow, so they had it so- so there's probably more than that. It's probably not an enemy unit of one. So there's probably a few more out here that are still closing distance. And the idea here was I was going to come up here like a complete dipshit. Uh, and... <laughs> well, I mean, who knows, right? I hear you. Let's, let's see. I, I shouldn't assume, right? Uh -huh. Maybe enemy units were just one. And maybe it's not going to run. It might not. Yeah, I'm not going to bother firing at that. No, but it could still hurt me with an LRM-15. Still, I'm better off just shooting this thing. This should be good. Wow. I think there were two head hits there. What's up, boss? Uh, yes. <laughs> Make the Centurion pay. Here it comes. Fire. <laughs> Solid connection on that one. Hmm. Really? Yeah, all right, fine. I guess, uh... <sighs> yeah, let's cross. Let's crisscross a little bit here. I'll go the AC-20 back on. And fire! At the very least, you should get knocked down. Enemy yep, knocked down. Enemy and it lost detected. both of its uh, lasers. Oh, or the pilot's incapacitated. Hey, that hit hit came back to help us. One of the few times where a head hit. Wow, the enemy unit was just one. All right, well, suits me fine. Cool. All right, so we only had, it was only uh, four. Wow, it was four on four. That's nice. That's rare. Standing by. Move order received. This mission ended up being easier than I thought. Which is a pleasant surprise. I like it when the missions are easier than they're supposed Hostile to be. <laughs> it's rare. All targets down. Successful. All right, cool. Do a nice quick mission here, which means the other mission might be... Well, we'll see what happens. Well, I guess that's why we only got this amount of money. That's why we, why it was cheap. But hey, money, money, money. Well, sure, we'll complete a spider. Uh, oh, you know what? 
let's because we we disabled it so let's try to take these two and maybe rng will give us the last bit of it and we can complete that centurion off outright that would be nice come on nah it wasn't gonna give it to us i have gotten lucky with that before though had to try though had to try Yeah, I figured. We knew that. We knew that. Okay, so yes, let's take Master Tactician. Training Boom. Confirmed, Commander. Standing by. You have... All right. Well, it was need? worth checking anyway. Good to go. Okay, yep. For sure. Mech That's not too bad. Complete. What's up, boss? Yep, let's... Yep, training now we'll do that. Ready and for Behemoth... Order. Let's see, do I want to eventually give you Ace Pilot or do I want to give you the Coolant Vent one? Um, well, we're going to give Decker. Good to go. We're probably going to give Decker the Ace Pilot. So let's Commander. let's have Glitch Training take the Heat Commander. Coolant Vent one just so they just so they're a little different. All right. So now we're going to go, go over to contracts. Yeah. And let's do this now. I like taking missions with the pirates because we want to build up pirate rep. That's incredibly important. <laughs> I don't like fighting other mercenaries, but that's the nature of the business. Yep. So currently trying to engage in long-term operations, which runs counter to compelling interests. They've hired a well-regarded mercenary outfit to engage the local pirate organization operatives on the planet's surface. And the mercenaries have sent a single well-armed lance. We'd like you to counter that lance by intercepting and destroying it. I really do like these missions. They're straight up. Uh, yeah, we'll do this. Um, they're just straight up four on four fights. Um, but yeah, the more, the more rep we have with the pirate organization, the better. And we'll, we'll, we'll go over that. At some point, we'll, we'll explain why. Uh, you'll, you guys will see. Uh, unlike MechWarrior 5, where I never do pirate missions. I fucking hate the pirates in, uh, in MechWarrior 5. <laughs> they're such, they're such assholes. <laughs> I mean, these guys are assholes, but they're lovable assholes. All right. Command interface initiated. So this should just be a nice straight up fight. All right, so we're facing professionals. We should expect well-armed and disciplined opposition. We've picked up comm signals from this region. Yep, yeah, that's at least one of them. Uh, so that's where you should start looking. Yeah, it looks... That looks like a trebuchet to me. It won't let me zoom in on it, but yeah, that looks like a trebuchet. So that's going to be a problem. Keep them off balance and be careful, Commander. So we want to close as much different distance as possible. Hopefully, we don't get stuck in a position where we're having to let that trebuchet just shoot us for a while. That would really suck. Advance. Coordinates received. Straight forward here. On it. At least <laughs> fingers crossed, straight forward. <sighs> hmm. There we are. On the move. They cover as we advance. Yeah, I probably should have jumped. Didn't think about it till after I clicked it. On my way. Roger. Yeah, this will be fine. 
We'll just position you right here, and I should just be able to lob indirect fire from that position, and nobody should even be able to fire on the archer, unless I want them to. Yep, there's our trebuchet. It's thinking the same thing. It's going to set up in a position to indirect fire. Yeah, let's reserve. Let's Roger just that. let them go. Standing by. Maybe one of them will make a mistake and leave for us to go into cover. Well, all right. Or it'll just shoot me. It's fine. It's cool. <laughs> Damage uh, I hate the debuff, but oh well. Oh, actually, that might be the trebuchet. Oh, God, they might have two trebuchets. That would, uh, that would suck. Yes, Commander. I think just firing from there would be fine. 55. Let's see. Does that make any difference? Oh, well, 65. All right, fine. Got it. Just set up shop over here. Let's open fire on this Vindicator. Engaging with target. Scored a critical hit. Waiting on you, Commander. Oh, I couldn't get over there. I would really rather not go into open cover. Okay, we'll do that. Yep, cover to cover. And fire. All weapons are go. Standing by. Yep. Coordinates received. Right where glitch used to be, and hopefully I can cross that gap next turn. I copy. Boom. Although I didn't get the arm that had the juicy PPC on it. Target's taken a critical hit. That is okay. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Oh, except when you miss. Oh, that's so lame. Oh my god, I can't believe I missed with it. That sucks so bad. <laughs> you lucky fucking vindicator. I thought I was going to kill you there. You hit me with that fucking PPC again, you bastard. <laughs> you absolute Orders. fucking bastard. Ah, uh, so lame. All right, let's just Roger advance. That. Have you shoot the Vindicator. Taking the shot. Go, blow off the left torso. All right, that thing should be Critical hit, Commander. It's a shame we're doing all that damage to that side and not the PPC side, but oh well. Yep, this could hurt. Yep, that's gonna hurt a little bit. Thank goodness we were in cover. Can you imagine how much armor that would have stripped off otherwise? That would have been horrible. Good to go. Uh, yeah. Shoot again. Uh -huh. Fortunately, now I would have rather, yeah, I would have rather had the front on. Have, oh my God, are you kidding me? Fine. Maybe I'll still hit the center torso. Come on. There we go. Good, good. Thank you. Gotcha. I was worried I was only going to do damage to that torso and not do any more damage to that. That looked like a crab for a second. All right. I hear you like uh, LRMs, Trebuchet. Confirmed. Since you like LRMs, have some LRMs. The only difference is my archer's better. I copy. Goodbye, armor. <laughs> Bastard. We'll just close distance. You're not gonna like. And yeah, let's do. That. Actually, fine. We're gonna do that. Let's just go for where I want the damage to go. But at least we delayed its initiative, so Glitch and Behemoth should be able to go before it now. Oh God, it's worse.
fucking hunchbacks. Oh shit. Warning. Armor low. Yeah, yeah, that'll do it. Ready for order. That'll fucking do it. God damn. All right. Uh Yes, now I will close the distance. <laughs> Holy shit, I can't believe they've got a hunchback. Fuck! There we go. Come on. Damn. Still can't... But we knocked it down. That's gonna be another initiative down now, too. So now it's at minus two initiative. At least it should be. I never found out if those stack or not, actually. Okay. Yes. We're gonna give it a juicier target. Yes. That's fine. Fire. Tell me what to shoot. That's exactly the side we want to be doing all that damage to. Yes, I think so. Unless I want to Man, unless I stomp on it. Now let's Actually Let's do that. Because what I don't want to do is to have that hunchback trying to uh, melee attack me. <laughs> Laser? There we go. Take care of you. Enemy mech destroyed. Standing by. Uh... Like that actually might be better. Yep, that's better. Even with it being indirect fire, that's better. Firing. Perfect. Exact location I wanted. Good. Target's taking a critical hit. And if I I mean, granted, I could still see them. Yep, all of its medium lasers are gone now. Because this pod is in the right torso, and because the right torso was destroyed. <laughs> yep, it lost all of them except its one medium laser on its right arm. Uh, is no longer, is no longer a threat. <laughs> I hear ya. Got it. Yeah, I know. But that's fine. Fire. Special delivery. Right into its Cerner torso. Oh, wow, really? Yes, Commander. Still alive? That's amazing. I copy. Get some high ground, get some pluses to hit. Yeah. Locking in all I mean, at this point it's 4 against 1, and it only has a medium laser. Like the poor bastard. <laughs> Like, how is it supposed to survive Orders? this? Like, seriously, that's, uh, that is grossly unfair. <laughs> it was toast. It was, it was game over. <laughs> destroyed. Good work. There we go. Hire us to kill a lance. Hire us to destroy a lance. We'll destroy a lance. So this worked out well. We got a half million sea bills, did a couple of missions. Life is good. All right. We don't have any really good. Yeah. All right. So that's the mech we would want. Is the that's something where even if we put it together, we might keep. So hunchbacks are fucking amazing. There we are. Ah, perfect. And now we could do that rat raid. We're not going to. We are going to go into the mech bay. And now we're going to take a look at this Victor and we're going to refit it. All right. So, yes, we are going to take out the jump jets. Because we have much more use. So the reason why I, I mean, granted. 
Although I could, you know, actually, you know what? You know what we could do? Could just do that. Could just do that and keep it in there, actually. Actually, could do that. Could just do that. Because that jump, the jump capability on this actually is helpful. Because we do get some pretty good maneuverability with it. So maybe... Maybe we'll only do that. Is there any other modifications that I want to do? Really, it's a shame we still don't have a large laser we could buy. Like, really? Fuckers? They don't want to sell us the goddamn... <laughs> we can't buy a freaking... <laughs> That's so ridiculous, man. We cannot buy that to save our life. Uh, the damn, uh, all right. This is, this is probably what we'd want to do. The mech bay too. Get our second mech bay and we can actually load a couple extra mechs and, uh, have some fun with that. Although getting the drives. Oh, okay. That actually should be our priority. So improved power conduits and then we could do that. So, all right. So if we do that, because getting the improved drive system, we, we get around a little faster and we end up being able to do more missions because we can get around a little faster. I do like getting the drive system upgrade as soon as I can. And obviously this is the better part of a million C bills. So it's expensive. Uh, but we could do that and that for the same price. And I really don't need those right now. So you know what? Yeah, let's do right. this. Right it's going to take 20 days and it doesn't kill, doesn't cripple us power money wise. Okay. Star map. Let's take a look here. Do we want to go back to Herodotus? Luritan, Kimi. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? Uh, Luritan was pretty good to us. 20 days. 20 days. It really doesn't matter. At this point, does it really, really matter? Um, probably not. Hmm. Wow, it's actually faster to get to Kimi. And they've got the good Lost Tech stuff. But we still don't really have enough money to buy that. Let's just go to Herodotus and see what they've got to see what they've got to buy. Calculating course now, Commander. And besides, we could always check out their missions. That job you asked for, Commander. I don't think anybody was close enough to order something. Yeah. We'll look anyway. Commander? Yes, yeah. Commander. Oh, Decker can. Yeah, let's do that. Perfect. Mech warrior training complete. Standing by. Oh, all right. Well, that works. Yeah, we'll go with base weapon training hit. Confirmed, works Commander. for me. Okay. Glad it checked. Onward we go. Moonlighting with an LRM. Oh, God. While pacing through the mech bay on a sleepless night, you stumble across Decker. He's fiddling with a stock LRM. A jumbled pile of loose metal and wire litters the deck plating around him. As you approach, Decker look up, looks up. A sheepish grin on his face. Oh, hello, Commander. I was just trying to tune this beauty. Maybe get a little more performance out of her. Could you do me a favor and keep this from the Chief, though? He's already shooed me out of here once this week. <laughs> well, we have the choice. Remind him it's not a work warrior's job or let him keep working at it. I'm going to let him keep working at it. Oh, God, and Decker got himself injured. <laughs> Although, maybe worth it. So, I suppose that was in storage for a reason, so we could afford to lose it if things go wrong. Just be careful. Those weapons are meant to destroy mechs, after all. Later that week, you get word that Decker is in the mech bay. When you visit him, he's grinning from ear to ear, despite the bandages. I did it, Commander. That LRM launcher is purring like a kitten now. Well, a kitten that wants to kill mechs. I even managed to replicate the performance specs of the Telos long-range missile launcher. So essentially, he upgraded one of our LRM-15s to an LRM-15+, plus. although he did get himself hurt. So he's out of action for 18 days. God damn it. Well, let's at least see what he got. Let's see. Let's take a look at our components here. So, oh, and it's a plus one damage LRM-15. That is that is pretty nice. Good job, Decker. All right, we'll take that, buddy. We will take that. Um, so I ended up not modifying the Victor as much as I thought. I was really tempted to remove the jump jets and um, add a support weapon and pack on some more armor. 
but I do find I'm jumping with it a decent amount. So maybe, maybe for now I'll keep it. But I think as far as like mech building best practices, I think most people would probably go with removing the jump jets and putting more, uh, putting more armor on the mech to make it more survivable. I've got the financial report. That is the quote unquote smart play. I'm not necessarily doing it because I mean, the whole point is fun and jump jets do give you a lot more options. Although these maps tend to be not really as big oh, as to merit complete, it. Boss. Perfect. Top not to work. Waypoint reached, Commander. Good, let's take a look. Let's take a look at, well, actually, let's take a look at the store first and let's see if we got a Marauder. We don't because of course we don't, but that's okay. Let's take a look and see what we've got. Uh, ooh, well, plus one. LRM-20, that might actually be good for the Archer. Granted, it's a little expensive, but still, not bad. That is nice. That's a good SRM-6. All right, we'll buy that component. That is definitely worth the money. Um. Wow. Okay. Yes, we will buy the plus two damage SRM-4. Holy shit. Um, and we may do that for the LRM-20. Let's take a look and see what contracts are here. So we've got an embassy extraction. That's a recovery. Should be able to do that. Ooh, witness tampering. We always like pirate missions. So we got to ambush a convoy. That's not great. It means we got to deal with the convoy and the escorts. Always a little, uh... All right, so that one's a destroy base, but it's probably going to be well protected. Not, not fantastic. Um, all right, well, that's going to be against the pirates. We're not doing that one. Um, embassy extraction. Okay, why don't we just hang out here? We'll do a little embassy extraction and let's see what we got. And depending on what we got here, we'll get a little bit of money. It'll pay for one of the components we just got. And we might be able to put together a mech and sell it. So let's go for it. And we'll swap out Decker for Medusa. That will be just fine. Although kind of silly to put in somebody that has sensor lock in the mech that has long ranged weapons, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, Renegade has sensor lock, so I could sensor lock something and then Medusa could fire LRMs at it. It, it works. It's obviously just better to have somebody without sensor lock in the mech that has primarily long-ranged ordnance. <laughs> go. Let's begin a mission. Oh, another one out of here. We've actually been making pretty good time. We've got a bunch of these in tonight. Should be straight for. Oh, don't don't jinx it, Oliveira. Damn it, man. Anyway, get in, acquire the VIP, get back out. Target your. Uh, recovering is a Capellan VIP. She's trapped in a building that's surrounded by local government forces. You'll need to engage them to get her out. Yeah. Once you have the VIP, make our way up there. All right. Unless we just kill everybody. We might just kill everybody. Might happen. Never know. I think this time we're just going to go up the road. Believe it or not. <laughs> Position confirmed. I like the idea of just going in through the front door this time. Do, 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 uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh huh. This way. On my way. Move order received. On. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, what are we doing? Am I jumping? Uh, I think we'll sprint. So move. So I can only move here. Okay. Good. Sprint. Yeah, we're better off sprinting. As much movement as possible. Because they're going to get a couple of free shots on us. Move order received. Yeah, 
You, I'm just gonna stay right here. Moving out. I'll advance slowly as we pepper things with LRMs. Got a spider here. Fucking things. Oh god, and it's already damaged? <laughs> I don't think that spider's long for this world, guys. <laughs> All right, so what's moving over there? We're buying time for things to try and move in on us here. But with any luck, we could buy a large laser here and actually re-equip our blackjack the way the way it was kind of we the way we kind of intended it to be. You know what? We'll reserve because I still have a bunch of evasion. Okay, it's not going to go. Uh... Commander. You want that being the case? Let's have you go up here. Fire. Firing everything I've got. Maybe I shouldn't have fired everything at the frickin' spider, but oh well. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have now that I think about it. Moving to position. We'll just do this. Aye, aye. Perfect. Oh, ho, ho, that was a good hit. Oh, my God. Solid connection on that Spiders, one. they're just... They're great recon mechs, but man, they can't take a hit to save their life. I think I am inclined to... We're just going to jump. I don't even know. Well, yeah, fine. Let's just completely murder the thing. <laughs> just fuck it. Overkill. Enemy mech destroyed. Then you go. Sprint. Save the ammo entirely. Not that I think I have to be conservative with ammunition. Yeah, now what are you guys going to do? Oh, where's that? Hear it. There, okay, there's that. Interesting. I didn't miss anything though, right? Because I heard something moving initially, but I didn't see it. Right? I don't see anything else. Okay. Yeah, it's just these guys. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's reserve. Well, I could do that. <laughs> I could just jump right in the middle of these two fuckers. Let's do that, actually. Hey, guys. What's up? <laughs> Oh, man. Okay, so I can't shoot all that, but I can still make your life absolutely miserable, Panther. Ho, ho, ho. Blew off its leg. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Yep. Yeah, we'll just do that. Yeah, I'm not going to bother. Let's just pick on the panther. On my way. Yeah, don't bother. <laughs> Target neutralized. For me? Oh, wow, well, we can actually shoot you. All right, fine. Coordinates received. I'm not going to bother with that or that, but I will shoot with those just to see if I, oh, I hit twice. Nice. We'll take it. Ready for orders. Yeah, I'm just going to On my way. Double Play catch up. Time. 
Marvelous. Hmm. Yeah, there is something. I just don't see it. I'm missing it. Locust, okay. Oh, good, it missed. <sighs> Marvelous. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna punch back, honestly. Waiting on you, Commander. Wow, that's terrible. That locust has got... Yeah, because the locust has high ground and everything else. Um, I get closer? Well, yeah, barely. Fine. We'll go with that. Don't need to tell me twice. Just go up there. Let's give it a whirl. Those aren't going to generate much heat at all. Yeah. All right. We'll go with that. Uh huh. Come on. There we go. At least you got a scored one hit. When I shoot you, you'll take it and like it. Receiving you. Ah, the cliff face is what's kind of impacting that. Hmm. Yep. You. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Let's go here. Roger that. Uh. Yeah, why not? Taking the shot. There we go. Goodbye, evasion. Your evasion's gone. Medusa will follow up. Scored a critical hit. And that'll be the end of you. <laughs> Perfect. Good. That AC-10 did its job. Ready for orders. You... Fine. Roger. And... Oh, wow. I could fly. <laughs> Jesus. Are you kidding me? Uh... Well, shit. That being the case, maybe I should just fire on it with the two medium lasers and see what happens. Yeah, let's try that and just see. Yeah, let's try that. Attacking from position. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> kill. Perfect. And then you. Let's cool down. Engage Do some damage. Oh, except when you miss. Well, at least I cycled heat. Let's see what it does. Yeah, you're still... <laughs> you're still woefully outmatched, Javelin. You are in... Uh, you're in deep shit there, buddy. Uh, it'd be nice if I could get into a good range with the LRM-10. There we go. Position confirmed. And fire. Excellent. Critical hit, Commander. I hear ya. Uh, can I even get into the target zone? I guess not. Yeah. I guess we'll just have to uh, get up next to it way. and just shoot everything and just <laughs> turn it into slag instead. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll do this. Perfect. I knew I didn't have to alpha strike it to, well, dead. as long as everything You're hit. Dead. All right, so off we go. We'll position, recover our VIP. And we probably will still have to fight our way out, but we'll see. Maybe that's all we had to do. And this will be a case of easy money. The asset has been secured. Cool. And is ready Sweet. For Worried about nothing. <laughs> All right, cool. We just paid for our uh, 
our SRM, our good SRM4. Excellent. And we got continue. Oh, and we got a spider. So we'll complete that. I don't think there's any. Eh. Oh, we've got tons of PPCs. Oh, you know, I should probably sell components. That would probably be good to go. Oh, we got the PPC anyway. Uh, yeah, I should definitely sell components. I'm sure we're accumulating a shit ton. That'll be a good use of... That'll be a good use of, uh... Mercenary management time like this is. As we wind down here. I don't think we're gonna do another mission at this point. I think I might just do... A little bit of bookkeeping here. That Nick you asked for and then we'll, we'll save some of the other missions for warm-ups next time. I think that'll be good. Sell. Uh, yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. I totally forgot to sell the Jenner, sell the Spider, and yeah, sell the Trebuchet. We're not, we're not ever going to use that. That, oh, well, you know what? While I'm at it, let's, let's take a look here. Okay. We don't need that many medium lasers. So let's sell a lot of the surplus we have. Uh, let's sell one. So we're down to 10. Don't need that many. Sell those. Don't need that many heat sinks. We certainly don't need that many jump jets. 20 is more than enough. We should be okay there. All right. Now we're doing good on money there too. That is excellent. Thunderbolts are actually not bad either, but they do take some finagling. Okay, that being the case, yeah, let's buy this LRM-20 because we could put that on the Archer and it will instantly be better. Let's take a look. Because, yeah, my plan here will be we'll do the witness tampering as a warm-up. Oh, hey, Nikki, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, all is fine-tuning. Greetings, greetings. I'm debating whether or not to do one more mission or not. I'm I'm thinking, I'm thinking we'll just wind down and we'll raid out to Kai. Um, but yeah, the plan will be next stream to um, to do a couple of these. We'll because uh, this one actually looks pretty good too. Because uh, we could go destroy this base, make some serious coin. Although that one looks like it'll put up a fight, but that's fine. Uh, we could do this as a warm-up. We'll do that one, and then we'll move on to see if we could pick up that... Uh... Oh, nice. Well, thank you. I do appreciate it. <laughs> always always nice to see you, Nikki. Um, so let's take a look. Let's let's tinker here. Let's tinker. Let's go refit here. Yeah, we're just going to... As, as uh, I forget... Oh, it was Saram, actually, who was in here, and she was like chill 31st century geopolitical violence <laughs> she chose work over me <laughs> uh okay so now we can remove that srm4 and we're gonna put in this good srm4 hell yeah hell yeah that's a really nice srm4 we're gonna really fuck up shit with that um i would like to get a better ac20 I'm thinking once we go to Kimi, we're going to get some really nice stuff. Oh, this is only going to take two days to do. We still don't have any good medium lasers. That's amazing. I can't believe how much the game's fucking us with that. So we'll do that in two days. Right. <laughs> I'll get it in this uh, let's go check out the archer. Check out the archer. We're going to refit this guy. And we'll take out the LRM-20. And we'll put in this LRM-20. And just like, yeah, I mean, we're already going to do more firepower because instead of uh, each of these doing um, four times 20, it's going to be essentially 20 times five. <laughs> if, yeah, if only our stomachs didn't require food. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, no, truth. Truth there. Oh, my goodness. Stupid food bills. Boo. What am I doing here? Okay, right. That was so that's the archer upgrade. That'll take five days. Long is what it is. Shouldn't be too hard. 
And I think that's really the only upgrades that we're going to do here. Because we still, unbelievably, have, have no large lasers we can buy. I can't believe this shit. <laughs> uh, unless we just cruise to Kimi, which we could. But I like the idea of doing these. I know I, I feel comfortable being able to do those warm-up missions next time. And, uh, and most times you don't, right, right, right. Unless you search the viewers. <laughs> uh, yeah, I love, I love that Ghosty and I have almost like a lurking competition. <laughs> um, so yeah, now we've, this has been a good stream. This was fun. We had a bunch of good missions. Um, it's a nice start for the day. I will probably stream tomorrow. I'm going to do my, my singles awareness day staple of, I'm going to go to the bar. I'm going to get 10 hot wings. I'm going to get the most unhealthy dessert they have on the menu. And uh, then we're going to play some video games. It's going to be awesome. I think I'm going to stream tomorrow. Uh, I haven't completely decided. I know I'm going to play video games. I don't know if I'm going to necessarily stream them. Uh, yeah, just 10. I may order more than that. We will see. <laughs> oh, good, Ghosty. It's always fun to chat with you. I mean, so... I usually try to lurk, and the second I start interacting, I'm like, oh man, this is going to totally ruin my whole, my whole lurking, uh, plan here. <laughs> and then I end up, like, with a hundred chats, and I'm like, well, so much for lurking. But it's all good. Everybody has a good time, regardless of whether you lurk or you chat or what have you. Um, we all have fun here. Hell, as you guys have noticed, I talk to myself a lot <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's all good but i always have fun talking with you man so either way is good um yeah for me social butterfly but yeah yeah silly work how has work been for you nikki i know uh they had crazy hours for you and then uh you were hoping for better hours did they end up giving you any kind of sane schedule or not you know what let's let's actually work let's work this out because we're going to do those we are going to do those warm-ups uh, next stream. So let's quit. Yeah, let's save and quit just because. <laughs> we'll do that. I don't know where my cat is, which that worries me because when I don't know where she is, it probably means she's into trouble or killing something. <laughs> See, I'm not social usually. You're social enough for us, Ghosty. So it's all good, man. Yeah, I definitely did not have 10,000 messages last year. No question. So, uh, oh, went to a normal person's schedule. 10 to 6. Nice. Welcome to a normal. Yeah, 10 to 6 is a little truncated. Um, or not truncated, a little offset. But actually, I kind of like that. You don't have to wake up too early, but you're also not there crazy late. That's That sounds like a nice, a nice schedule, especially considering what they were doing to you, uh, doing to you before. That was, that was crazy. Um, I know work is doing something to Saram too. I don't know exactly what I didn't, I didn't ask. It's just like, oh man, I'm sorry. Um, you know, I'm just getting back to the whole being alive and having a normal schedule and having four working limbs. So, uh, you know, life, life is really good for me. People at work ask me like, Hey, how you doing? And I'm like, my arms work. I'm good. <laughs> and they're like, give me a word. Look. Apparently none of them knew that I was like practically disabled for a couple of months, which suits me just fine. Um, I don't do morning. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't laugh so hard, but I could totally picture that. So many people don't do mornings. I like being up in the morning. Thank goodness, because my cat wakes me up every morning, six o'clock without fail. You would hate my cat, Nikki. Uh, and they weren't paying me for night hours anymore. So yeah, yeah, hell yeah. If they're not going to pay you. Uh, for night hours, there's no reason to have a crazy, stupid schedule and for them not to compensate you properly for it. No, that fuzzy crummy cat meme. That's, that's me. <laughs> that's awesome. I haven't worked in like 15 years. <laughs> Man, I wish I haven't worked in 15 years. That sounds awesome. How do you, how do you do, how do you pull that off, bro? That sounds amazing. Yep, Kai is indeed still still at it. We're gonna we're gonna raid out to him in a second as soon as I, I get this whole thing set up properly. 
I'm not sure if I'd be too mad if a cute cat, right? And she is adorable. Uh, but at 6 a.m. I'd give her, I'd give ear scratches and we're going back to bed. <laughs> so Cleo's not too bad on days where it's like the weekend and I am exhausted and I'm not getting up. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's hard to be mad at her when you got the little cute paw and it's just doing that to your, to your nose. And I'm just like, Rrr. and then a few seconds, like maybe a minute later, or a few seconds later, I just feel another <laughs> right against my nose. <laughs> she has mastered the art of the, Hey, I'm here. <laughs> I won't have much. Oh, that sucks, bro. I'm sorry. Oh man. Yeah. No mixed blessing. That's what, yeah, it is mixed blessings. Uh, so I'm, now I'm, I'm starting to get a better idea of that. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, I mean, you, you take the good with the bad, right? My, my ex had a situation like that and, but yeah, mixed blessing, but the social security allowed her to have at least a semblance, like basically had a, allowed her to have a normal life. So, you know, you, you take what you, you know, you take what you can get, man. Um, so I just cuddle more and the kitty would eventually realize the paw on the face works for like 15 minutes. <laughs> you know, I don't know if how long I've actually tried, um, but she's not too bad. So I get up, I feed her. And on days where I'm tired and it's the weekend, I'll feed her. I'll give her a quick pet. I'll go up to bed and then she'll get the hint and she'll come back up to bed and she'll cuddle and she'll go back to sleep. And then she doesn't try to wake me up again until like 10 or 11. And then that's fine. It's like, okay, yeah, I really should be awake if I haven't gotten up at that point. Thank you, Cleo. Good girl. And then she gets a treat. Uh, and then I steal her paws and play with the toe beads. She's got such cute Toby's. Oh my God. Her jelly beads are amazing. <laughs> One of these days I just gotta, I, I gotta indulge in, in cat pictures and everything else like that. But, um, when she's not murdering spiders or lizards or snakes, um, cause yeah, she, she kills anything that, that comes in the house. She, she is crazy. So, uh, so I want to thank everybody who came out tonight. Uh, ghosty Nikki. Thank you for the follow. Oh no, am I already forgotten the name? Ah, I have already forgotten the name. Crap. I have to. Uh, no, it's right here. I must have scrolled past it. Uh, Bent Wookie, thank you for the follow today, good sir or madam, if you are still around. Um, and for everybody, I hope you have a great week. For everybody, the partners, have a wonderful Valentine's Day. Um... When I lived with my uncle's Chihuahua used to wait outside the bedroom doorway like 9 a.m. and bark and wake me up on the weekends. Yeah. So you know all about cats and dogs that that want their food. Oh God. And Chihuahuas, boy, can they can they bark? So my cat, she she didn't meow for the first few years that I had her, but she had a play. So I got a cat for my cat. And the cat I had to get Cleo for was a Tonkinese. He was very talkative. So when he passed, apparently Cleo decided, oh, somebody needs to meow a lot. And now that's going to be me. And so now she is super talkative for better or worse. Oh my God. <laughs> she ate her. She just wanted to see me. Oh, <laughs> yeah. In my case, when it's 6 a.m. Uh, oh, she heard me talking about her. Cleo, come here, Cleo. Come and say hi. We're saying bye to everybody. Come here, Cleo. Come here, Cleo. Oh, come here, Cleo. Yes. Oh, check that. <laughs> kitty, kitty. Hi, Cleo. Are you a good girl? Are you a good girl? Come here. Hey, look at me. Fine. Don't do any of the cute things you normally do. <laughs> so perfect. My co-pilot decided to show up so that we could sign off here. Uh, so, yeah, and there she goes right into my water. But that's fine. At this point, that was the water I got you specifically for you. And so now you don't want it. Oh, my God, you little shit. Are you serious? You knew you murder. I love you so much. But holy shit, I'm good at it. All right. Finally, we're getting this raid underway. Because <laughs> now, now things are just... We've... Now we're going off the deep end. <laughs> nice job, Cleo. But thank you, everybody, for coming out. Like I was about to say, everybody who's got... Anybody who's partnered, have a great Valentine's Day. Everybody who's single, enjoy your singles day. I will certainly enjoy mine. Uh, and to everyone, 
I hope you have an absolutely wonderful and a healthy until next time. She is adorable. Thank you, everybody. Have a good one. See you later.